and later tonight for sure. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. Come oh, back oh, in for oh, that no. one. Yeah. <laughs> Come well, back in for the sleep deprivation. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Roger that. She told me that the, the fact that, so uh, Beth, one of the head scientists here, um, had been in the lab and she walked out and she stopped the chair from turning as she went. And we thought that that would ruin our prank because uh, there's no ghost moving anymore. But Annabelle said that she hadn't noticed her stopping the chair. So <laughs> when we radioed in and asked who was there and she saw that the chair wasn't turning, she actually <laughs> got a little freaked out by that. She was like, oh no, who stopped it? <laughs> oh, that is great. I didn't know that. <laughs> there's another one of the Umbelula. Um Umbelula? Bumbelula. Thank you. I'm yeah, never going to say this Something right. else behind it too. And um maybe a little sponge. Uh, looks like a coral, hey? Oh, this one? Yeah. It's it, um, yeah. A Malura. Did we pick up uh, any more samples? No, we did not. Okay. Yeah, it's just Can't like rocks for days. And yeah. It's so tempting to pick up everything. But we like it at the bottom. But we have to be, uh... Look at all those trails in the rocks above the um, Umbelula. This? Yeah, that stuff. What is that? We were thinking it might have been holotherian poo. Poo oh, I Do see. what? Huh. Interesting. Oh. Holotherian? Maybe. Let's see cucumbers. One of our viewers commented that before they started watching Honolulu Live, they never realized how evil sea stars were. They're like <laughs> slow motion terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> they sea are, stars are definitely terrifying. Be. predators. They are predators, yes. They're otherworldly monsters. And if you get uh, like an invasive sea star species in, they can just wreak havoc. Yeah, who was talking about an invasive sea star problem? The crown of thorns, is that the one that you're referring to? Perhaps. Where did this happen? I think the crown of thorns are in the tropics right now. Mm -hmm. Last time we were in Samoa, that was a big issue, or oh. kind of all in the Pacific. Crown of thorns, I don't think have any natural predators because they have a bunch of uh, thorns all over their body, or at least natural predators when they're in a in non-native area. I think the fact that we have a species called crown of thorns kind of attests to uh, how evil they are. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plant, a it house sounds plant uncomfortable. that's called the crown of yeah. thorns. <laughs> My parents had one too, <laughs> and it was right behind, like between the the back of a dinner chair and the wall. So if you wanted oh, to get, yeah. you had to like scoot behind, and my dad called it the Christ plant. <laughs> because that's what you say every time you get <laughs> stuck. Oh, <with> no. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, Um, here's an interesting question. Uh, if there was a ghost on board, who would it be the ghost of? Oh. <laughs> Bobby Argus. I think that was uh, oh, yeah. the running joke for a while was that it was Bobby Argus. <laughs> Wouldn't be on board right now, though. <laughs> Good point. Henry Hess, maybe? <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, what do we got there? What do you guys think that what is? is that? It's a black thing. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a crevice, hey? We Maybe. can take a quick zoom over yeah, here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, what is that? Is it a hole? Oh, it's, a, it's a void. Hole. It's a yeah, void. that's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Wow, that's good. There can it we, is. Can we log that we found a hole? <laughs> <laughs> I will do it for you, Val. <laughs> Oh, uh, whoever, whoever's going to be back verifying these later is just going to be like, why? <laughs> I've gotten a little punchy on my dialogue today. They're going to have a fun one. That's okay. Mm. We're kind of forecasting that for tonight's 12 to 4. <laughs> Great. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a nap beforehand. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. How was... Um Cutting into some of your rock samples today, Val. It was good. Yeah. 
Uh, we got some stuff subsampled that I've been uh, kind of putting off subsampling while I figured out how exactly I wanted to do it. Uh, that one was a lot of fun. Um, confirmed the presence of preserved glass in that one. So Ooh, whoa. talking with the, the geology cool. team on how to divvy it up. Really? Yeah. It's, That's it's pretty unusual, isn't it? For Cretaceous rocks? Absolutely. It's it's quite rare. Wow. So as far as I know, this is the oldest. Uh, oh, there's what something is there. that over there on the right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Good eye. I think they're holotherians, aren't they? Yeah. I think so. I think and so. another one right there. Oh, yeah. Upper left, yeah. These are more transparent than the ones I think we've been seeing before. We, right before you guys came in, we saw one swimming. Go ahead and push on in, please. It was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is my Look day. Look at those guts. <laughs> Quite cool. <laughs> Come a little wide. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, so we cut that, w that one open, and I'm talking with my colleagues about, um, how we want to handle it because it's very unusual to find glass and this might be the, the uh, push on in. partial there we go. this might be among the older examples of preserved volcanic glass out Pull there away, please um, wow though. possibly the oldest for a surface sample but um, there are older glasses that have been found on uh, Shatsky rise uh, oh. in drill core so uh, it's easier to easier to preserve that kind of material in lava flows that have just been uh, buried and kind of cut off from the surface. So it makes sense that we'd find some uh, uh, glass in those, in the well-preserved material. But yeah, out here when uh, you have fragments of rock that are exposed to seawater, and, you know, these uh, uh, surface conditions that we're looking at here on the ROV screen, um, yeah, the alteration is a lot harder to avoid. So um, finding uh, exceptionally preserved samples is always a cause for celebration. Well, do you have for a rock people? That's fantastic. So, do you have a sense yet of how old the seamount is? Old. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can get some field clues from, uh, you know, just uh, generally how thick the uh, manganese crusts are on these and uh, uh, at one of the neighboring seamounts here, not uh, not at King George, but over at uh, Nootka, we did that deep dive a couple of days ago, and uh, that um, we have video footage of uh, some very thick manganese crusts on some of the in-place rocks, uh, somewhere on the order of about 10 centimeters thick, we estimate. Uh, we didn't quite get anything that thick uh, in the samples that we pulled up, uh, but we have stuff that's three, four, almost five centimeters thick in some places, and. Uh, it takes it takes tens of millions of years to um, accumulate that much manganese. So we know that those rocks are very old. And here, the manganese crusts do look a little thicker on these uh, pillow lava structures that we're looking at. Um, it's kind of making them look a little uh, inflated, a little puffy. Um, even though they still have a lot of that angular geometry preserved underneath, that the uh, manganese crusts are kind of uh, mirroring. So I, I would hazard to guess that we're also looking at some some pretty old stuff here too uh, one of our viewers is noticing that the oxygen concentration at this depth is much higher than it was yesterday at 900 meters and that's connected that's the a pattern that we've been seeing uh, when we launch from the surface the oxygen levels high there's a lot of contact with the air so oxygen can mix it mix in and when, so we get down to around 1,000 meters, um, that peters out. Uh, a lot of that oxygen has been used up by uh, marine organisms in that, in that area. Um, and when you get down to the bottom, it does get higher again. Oh, I'm not sure little if little fish down there. Well, didn't get a good look at it, so can't, can't I don't know if the guess. temperature of the water has anything really to do with it. Colder water tends to absorb more uh, dissolved gases, which is why you put your soda in the fridge after you open it. Have you guys been seeing any nice of these mushroom, mushroom coral. corals? I think we've seen one small one at the beginning of the dive. So. Okay, cool. That's the larger one. Uh, we still have a little ways to go before we get into the depths where uh, we've been seeing uh, more abundant life. So we're at about 2144 meters right now. 
It starts picking up again around 1800-ish. Oh, stock sponge. Yeah, we have seen that once before. I'm trying to remember and write at the same time. You think that's the, uh, oops, I can't see in the dark here. I can see you plected. Here. We identify yeah. the last amphidicella, eclepted amphidicella, perhaps. What do you think, Diane? Uh, let me poke. Ah. That sponge got pretty big. It's looking a little so less these happy these days. we've been seeing have been fairly droopy. We've been calling them ailing. Yeah, they're because they're, they're just not kind of starting to turn br that brownish color. Yeah, I don't know. Is that one still alive? Partly, it looks I don't partly, know. but like not much. not completely happy. Definitely, it almost looks like yeah. there's anthozoans on there. Oh yeah, mm. you get a little closer. Look at the structure, though. The underlying yeah. structure on it—it's fascinating. It is very filamentous. Filamentous. I like that word. I'm going to borrow it and put that Do in my it. pocket. No problem. So somebody's asking if we can post a lawful neutral evil meme of uh, sea sharks. Uh, sea sharks. Sea stars. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Sea sharks Ooh, would be good too. But I, like I feel it. like they're all either true neutral or chaotic evil. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a good one somewhere. Stars. I'm sure we could put something <laughs> like that together. One that's like vegetarian. Do you and want uh, me to keep you in the picture, or do you want me to um, maintain a constant heading? Oh, the rocks are still all so good around here. <laughs> so right before you came up, Val, I was saying that I felt like a lot of this rock was like those drip castles that you make at the beach. Did you ever make those as a kid? Oh, yeah. Like those were so much fun. You yeah. just, like, get the really saturated sand, and you just kind of drizzle it on uh -huh. top of itself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily this formation that we're looking at right at the moment, but, like, we've been passing over a lot of that. Like the uh, the stacks of the pillow flows? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Diane, Chris, Dr. Chris Kelly is rejoining us and had thrown a couple... Um, Oh, okay, great. That's chat. fantastic. Um, I'm going to get back to that. I have a really good question here. Um, okay. I just moved Sounds off my screen. Good. What ecological factors prevent sea stars from over-consuming corals? Hmm. That's a good question. That's a good question. The size of their stomachs, maybe? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, they move pretty slowly. Corals are even slower, so. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is true specifically for sea stars, but obviously predation is a big one for a lot of middle uh, animals that that, that meso predators, um, like many sea stars are. So other animals eating them can be a check on their population. I don't. It probably depends on the situation and the the sea star. Uh, for how significant that is. Uh, what about like their metabolic rate and stuff too? It's got to be pretty low. Well, I don't know. It's it's speculation on my part. We can ask. Uh, yeah, uh, if Leela comes in soon. We can ask her. Yeah, I don't want to go off intuition with what I would think because everything is weird in the ocean. It, it seems is. Like, so. It's a really good question though. Oh yeah, and Diane, I don't know if it got passed along to you, but uh, we had a question during our watch about um, uh, expeditions in the Antarctic. Um, do you oh. remember that one, Chris? Um, there was a question about whether there were geos in the Antarctic. Geos. Uh. Is it? It said that there weren't any in the Arctic Ocean. There were in the 
Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean. I don't know if they count the Southern Ocean as a separate ocean. Some people do, some people don't. I personally do not know of any. However, there Switch is a out. lot of volcanic activity mm. uh, in the Antarctic. In fact, there are a couple active volcanoes down there. One that is near McMurdo Station, Erebus. Yeah, it's Erebus is a famous one. A I want to see. I want to visit that one someday. It is really neat. Um, I have not been up on the slopes, but have worked with some scientists who are volcanologists. Is that the term? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, so it wouldn't surprise me, I mean, if there were Geo. Oh. Yeah, it actually, well, welcome back, uh, my PhD advisor Catch has a couple of uh, crystals out. from Mount Erebus from mm -hmm. when he, he got to visit. And uh, it erupts out these kind of an unusual mineralogy in that it, it you can pick up these really large, uh, what are they? Some sort of some sort of plagioclase family mineral, and you, it just like erupts out a ton of these, and you just pick them up off the ground. Uh -huh. They're like perfectly crystalline. Mm -hmm. So he has a couple yeah. of those. Another question that we had coming in um, was, how long is our dive tonight? We are in uh, five hours and twenty minutes into a planned twenty-four hour dive on the King George Seamount, going up a ridge, so it's nice and steep. Yeah, we started around 2,500 meters and going up to about 700. Seeing some really cool rock formations as we go. Yeah. The crazy thing is it'd be even steeper if we weren't on the ridge. Yeah. <laughs> True, yeah. So one of our scientists this shore is popping in with a little bit of an answer to your previous question about sea stars. Um, if it doesn't consume the whole coral, the coral can still survive and grow. So it doesn't give you an idea of whether, sea, like how sea stars are checked in their population, but. Um, question about uh, whether we've discovered any new species on this trip. We have found several things that were not uh, our, our science team wasn't able to identify as things we've seen before, um, so we sampled as many of those as we could and brought them back for analysis. And we'll know sh for sure after we get back and our scientists ashore have had a chance to look at those, but um, some are, are promising. question how much nutrition is in an average chunk of marine snow they're like snowflakes I think everyone is different <laughs> is my guess good answer I have a friend at a University of Southern Mississippi who is studying that exact thing under oh I'm trying to remember his name dr. Arna Arna something to look that up but there are a lot of papers out there and if you look up southern miss and google marine snow there's all kinds of research being done on that subject a dramatic view of hercules right now <laughs> yeah that land view is awesome yeah <laughs> Big old shadows. Makes me nervous sometimes. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> steep. I need to like <laughs> back up. Wind job, wind job. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all good. Nice shot. So cool. Yep, that's all good. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two one oh, zero, please? That sponge up there in the top right. Thank you. Back row, sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. There's a sponge in the top right. Up there in the it top looks like a sacrocalyx. 
So Psychocolix has a stem. Ashton, the person you were talking about is Arna Dierks. Yes, thank you. Do you know him? <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. I was lucky enough to go on a couple of Could ROV engineering. Partial, please. Or AUV engineering cruises with him, and I was down there. Are you <sighs> ready? Pull away, please. Possibly. That's cool. Yeah. I've had a Have few scientists been? ashore join us. <clears throat> oh, nice. We're sort of looking over these rock formations here. Um, a viewer is wondering if these seamounts are from the same hot spot as the Hawaiian Islands. We don't think so, but that's part of why we're here, mm -hmm. is to figure that out. Yep. Because they are not in the same orientation as the Hawaiian hotspot volcanoes. Um... Wondering if we want to try to pick up a sample yet. Jess, do you mind coming off bottom a little bit so that we can pan right and left? Sure thing. Herc flashlight? Yeah. Raj. These are just humongous formations. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, definitely. We'll pull a little bit further ahead. Do you want me to do that again, Beth, up, uh, up slope? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure thing. Looking left, too. The view in the Atlanta camera is quite dramatic. Yeah. So mysterious. <laughs> Several dead sponges of Farad over on the left. Are we switching over? Ashton? Shelby? Were you just talking? You uh, Trevor, something? before you drive on, Sorry. can we get some partials on these corals? They're a little different than what we've seen so sure. far. Sure. Which one would you like to see? Uh, start with the red one, bottom right. Bottom right. And welcome back. Thank you. Go ahead and zoom in, please, Steve. Mm. Oh, a sea pen. There's a sea pen underneath it. This, I believe, is a paragorgia. Or is a swift? No, it doesn't look like swift yet to me. Shelby, I'll be back. I'll be back um, in 30 minutes to answer your question. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it for you. Thank <clears throat> you. And this pink one, the bigger pink one. <laughs> All right, and then next one was up here somewhere. Yeah, I think that uh, the next one I think was just a uh, Rudigorgia. We know that, but yes, Five. you can come wide. Oh, it's way over here. 
nice. Oh wow, this one's really like pronounced the it's swirliness. Huge, yeah. It's huge. Wow. Isn't it super bright? Okay, Steve, you wanna try it? Especially with like the black background. Yeah, what, you want, what do you want to try the uh Vertigo? Vertigo? Okay, you, yeah. yeah, you can back up. I'll zoom in as you back up. I'm already pretty far. Yeah. Let me... Uh, you want to go the other way? Yeah, I want to go the other way. We have the time. So this is a type of <coughs> Chrysogorgia called Eridogorgia. Oops, that's too low. Okay, you can go in there. I don't want to go super tight, but just like kind of like that, yeah. Okay, I'm going to approach mm. it now. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Ooh, Whoa. I love. Cool. Oh, that was incredible. Oh, that worked well. That, oh, was, okay. that, was, that was worth it. <laughs> that, was, that was incredible. That was definitely Captured worth it. Them wow. In their full firework form. That was, yeah, that was top tier, y'all. That was great. Dug it on me. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sacrificed it all over the shot. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop that. Sorry. Can we get a partial on this? Yeah. Uh, snap zoom, please, Steve. Okay. It's the All same right. type of... Thanks. Thank you. I might modify my iris. Was it better when I had one light off, all the lights off? I think we've been running all the lights off normally. I know. I turned one on. Because I wanted to see something. This yeah. has almost the same texture as what we were looking at last night. This with was cheese situation. Can I please different. get a reset? Huh. Thank you much. It does favor for sure. You want to zoom in for me too? Like halfway? Keep one football. Thank you. One football. Football is life. <laughs> Viewers wondering, will the geologists post the results of the dating studies once complete, and where can we eventually find it? Um, well, definitely will take some time. Um, we're still sampling, and then the samples have to get shipped back, and you can ask Diane about that <laughs> when she comes back on watch. And then uh, a lot of science has to happen. Um, Beth, I don't know if you know, but if not, it may be a question for Val, uh, who's on the 12 to 4 shift, if you... Want to try to send that question in when she's in the room? Uh, yeah. All data that we generate is supposed to be submitted to the National Center for Environmental Information. Mm -hmm. uh, so things like dates would be a type of data product that mm -hmm. is sent to that eventually. But as Shelby said, that mm -hmm. takes some time. Taking some what? Mm. Actually, Lynette, can you hold on that ship's move? I think we want to take a rock sample. Rock sample. Where do you want to Where do you want to go? Yeah, that's a good question, Trevor. When we were just before you were coming on shift, we were passing by just some insanely amazing pillows with columnar jointing. Um, okay. I'm not sure if we're seeing that right up here and I also wasn't I would since we were in the middle of dinner switch over I didn't ask to stop so I'm kind of just looking at this material to see if any of those type of fragments show up otherwise we might want to go back a little bit back Roger um, where are the lasers okay so can we have for instance a look at this right here yeah, we can. nice little wedge shape you can zoom in, please. Mm -hmm. That seems to be a good size.
Can we try picking this piece up, please, yeah. Trevor? Come full wide, please. You want me to do anything? Looks like Val's yeah. kind of rock. Yeah, so let's make sure to get some nice stills of this uh, pill this big pillow formation Whether uh, after we're done sampling, just so it's really clear that this came from the inside. Which rock do you like? Right here. All rocks. The pointy one, Roger. Ah, yes. Who's hiding down there? Oh, I shrimp. am. Little shrimp. Do you want anything of course, the for shrimp. me? Do you want any uh, bubble cam or nothing? Uh, not yet. Maybe advice. I will I'll ask in a minute. Sure. How do I not get the elbow stuck? <laughs> Just <laughs> go left, Raj. Go left, Raj. Beth, can you circle it one more time, please? Uh, yeah, it's right behind the minute, right in there. Thank you. That little wedge-shaped piece. And I'm stable, Kylie. You can call for a zoom if you want it. Roger. Uh, video zoom. Beth, do you need more zoom than that? No, but uh, we'll get a close-up of it when okay. we pick it up. Roger. Thank you. Looks like it'll move, hopefully. Just gonna go starboard or forward? Starboard, right? Roger yes, that. correct. Starboard. Anything floaty? Nope. Raj. Easy. Okay, come on. Wanna push in for me? I'll give you a spin. Is that a good rock? Okay, thanks. Good? Okay. Yep. Come on. Um, Great rock. If you can, follow me with the bubble and yep. up a little more for me. Yep, totally. Garage Lego. Uh, maybe go for C if it looks like it'll fit in there. I'm going to do that. Will I fit? I put my my forearm first, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Raj. Nice. Oops, up is down. Oops. It's right of the needle. Yeah, no kidding. This is some precision <laughs> manipulation. <laughs> I am a maximal bubble use. <laughs> Cool, thank you for that. Okay, I'm ready for a sample salvo. Where's the, uh, okay, there it is. Atlanta view, Raj, it's in the dark. I'm gonna pay out a bit on the winch. Roger, I can do, come out with bio box, nothing I got floaty, it. you got it, you're doing, Roger, Roger. Let me know when. I'm ready. Which, which um, section? C. C, C Roger. Charlie. So much easier when there's nothing floaty. Yeah. <laughs> Just space and opportunity to put the rock in there. You say it's full of opportunity? I said just space and opportunity. Space and opportunity. That's <laughs> awesome. I like that. Yeah. Anything in there? Just opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Do some Atalanta ing here. Thank you. And that Lynette <laughs> will be <laughs> 166. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but net. Right off the backboard. Nothing but bio box. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but bio box. That's funny. Is that Lynette up front? Who's up front? Ready for dive salvo? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it is Lynette. It was 166. Ready for dive salvo? <laughs> I love what it does that. That's great. I want to see butt cam <laughs> right here. 
super zoom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank okay. you for letting me do that. Of course. Um, yeah. Nicely done. Um, when we back up from this, can we just get some really uh, stable shots of this large pillow formation that we're sitting in front of? You bet your boots. Uh, anything else before I take nope. off? Just a large or just a stable shot? Yeah, just a nice, really nice view on bubble, yes. spatial awareness shot. Spatial awareness, hi. It's a cool Atlanta shot. Thank you. Herc. We want to make sure we get some still cam images of when we back up. Still cam in the engineering computer for now for you. Oh, neat. Because they want, they would like. What? Oh, I think, yeah. What? I can fly this by This is really great. Well, I don't know if you could fly by it. What a, what a nice looking, a bit yeah, of bubbly <laughs> pillow. Mm -hmm. I was going to be stoked about that. I hope so. Yeah, I hope that was a... Enjoyable <laughs> dinner viewing for <laughs> Val. Is this the view you're after from? Yeah, this is wonderful. Thank okay, you so great. much. I think we're good. Yep. Okay. Swell. Okay. Let's go. We ready for a move? Yeah, we can start heading towards waypoint four. Okay. Bridge nav. Fast mode. Seasickness. Look away. <laughs> <laughs> zero to barf. <laughs> I didn't look can away we move this five time. Five zero meters bearing two cool. one zero, please. Nice view Thank in you. Atlanta of yeah, Kirk coming towards. Right. The turn was very cool to watch. All right, now that we got that rock, I will come to this question. <laughs> I was waiting for her. So we can hear those instructions and get that in the bio box. Um, so for the viewer oh, who... Um, I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Donk. It's still great, it's still great. Um, you were wondering, um, yeah, we've been seeing a lot of beautiful corals, um, like the Aritagorgia, which is the firework beautiful one that's swirly um, and how they settle um, they sort of hold on to rocks with this disc like structure called a hold fast um, and can we get a partial on the sponge from, uh, yeah. Yeah. Grow. beautiful sponge you're talking the bottom left correct? yeah yeah bottom center frame yeah mm, Ferrea oca recta I like the sounds of that you zoom in, please? Oh, bonks again. Ugh. Well, it's kind of like weird pasta. and stocky, actually. <laughs> like pseudo coral sponge. Pasta neck. It has like very clear hollows, less like wavy, lettuce y. <laughs> oh, like little tubular, like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Freya. Okay. Thank you. Did you call it a pasternak? Yeah. Hey, Raj. Yeah. Someone said it looked like pasta. So. Pasta. There's some. Uh, there's some fish. Some yeah. one fish. And yeah, like again, coral. just tons and of these yeah, huge area sponges that are dead. Do you what is have going on? Now? Yeah, Raj. Okay. So wow. Okay. Oh. What? Okay. What did you ask about Rob Nav? Uh, I said, do you fly by Rob Nav? Oh, it's right there. I know. I said, do you fly <laughs> by it? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, because I was going to keep the 210, and then I realized you do are not, not looking at this at all. So 210 what? Well, that's the heading we're on, so I was going to go to 210. Oh, yeah, you just do it. I'm going to. That's good, what yeah. I was confirming, basically. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't fly by this. I mean, ripples. That's what I was I just oh, yeah. the same, making yeah. sure of. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Can we pan to the right to see some of those corals that were up on the ridge? Right pan eye. These ones? Yeah, they're a bit bigger than some of the ones we've been seeing, and it looks like yeah. there's a big stalk something way off in the distance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all the way back there stalk. in the abyss. If we could go abyss. have a look over there, I'd appreciate it. We'll Hello come back to other. these sponges. Yeah. Uh, corals. I'll just tuggy a bit. Oh, Don't worry. Aritagorgia. Oh, okay, it's an Aritagorgia, oh, yeah. not a sponge. It did look very yeah, sponge-like. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. what I thought we were coming up on. Okay, we can we can come back. Yeah, coming back. I've done more tugs in the last ten minutes than I have like <laughs> this whole cruise. I don't know. What's <laughs> about. I'm just giving you a hard time. Settle down, Story. Trevor. <laughs> it's like I'm important too. I don't want to <laughs> face the dark. Okay. You go look in the corner. Um, okay, so it looks like a hemicryllium off to the right. I'd like to get a closer zoom on this white one. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Once uh, the leash is allowing. Once the leash allows. <laughs> We do what the leash allows. I think I know where those wraps came from yesterday. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
And again, we're seeing not super great Walt area. Yeah. Well, okay, zoom here. in, please. That's cool. Oh, that's Ooh. pretty. Oh. I don't know what you are. Wow. Those are look those like those it's a with zoanthids on it. Yeah, those that's are what zoanthids. it looks like. Am I going to yeah. get a little closer? Come wide. Yes, please. I'll come down a little. We've got to get a polyp zoom on this one. Polyp zoom. Yes, we yeah. want polyp zoom. Maximum polyp Ooh. zoom. What, is, what am I doing? Okay, go ahead, zoom there. And also the gray stuff on the rock to the left. It's interesting. Yeah, those are not. No, it's a plexorid underneath the yellow bit that's poking out the bottom. Can we lose any zoanthids? That's full zoom. Full zoom. Looks like I a think bunch so. Of yeah, it looks like parazoanthidae. Oh, it's a acanthagorgia. Okay. And then parazoanthids on top. Can we look at the polyps at the bottom, please, Ooh. before we back up? Come on. All right, go in again. Okay. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Thanks. So I know we've, we've been noting that we haven't seen oh, as much a blue 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 sea pen there. Cool. That's Kylie's favorite. Whoa. Is that, I couldn't remember. I didn't know that was your favorite. <laughs> We were making other song jokes about it, but uh, I couldn't remember that one. This looks like our Militalis here. Like under <laughs> my um, Balula. Bula. <laughs> Bula. <laughs> Gonna just keep saying hey. that, huh? Eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, Balula. Balula. <laughs> yeah, that looks Militaris. Okay. Let's keep uh, momentum up for this little flat spot. Okay. Then we can go back to slower later. So for the viewer who's wondering, um, yeah, we haven't been seeing as much life as we've seen on other dives and other ridges. Um, and a couple of things account for sort of whether we see a lot of coral and other things sort of uh, living around an area um, for things that need to attach to substrate if it's not. Can we get a partial on this when we get closer? Yeah. Super Steve, stable. Steve, you want to try uh, vertigo again? Sure. Yes, okay. do it. <laughs> still, I'm still like at the end of my leash here, so I can't go yet. But yep. in the meantime, let's look over here <laughs> at this Walteria <laughs> that's ailing. <laughs> Zoom in on the ailing. Hello. Yeah, ailing Walteria on the left. Alien Walteria. Fleming guy. Yeah, Paragorgia on in the back. Red one. And Bethy said they're usually like pretty white when they're like healthy. Yeah, usually they're much brighter white and so they'll have like, like a Squat top on it. Oh. Yeah, this one, yeah. I guess it doesn't do it so hot. Mm. Bridge nav. Okay, thanks, Steve. Uh, Can we have another step, five zero meters, two one zero, please? Do we think the white one Thank is you. Norella? Uh, these little stocky ones? Yeah, little bushy, bushy, leggy, leggy ones. I think, I don't think it's Norella. Okay. These are ones I was having trouble IDing earlier, and I think that was part of what Asaka was calling Militalis, but I, I don't know. Okay, Steve, zoom in, please. Ones. Let me know when you're ready for me to move. Sorry, I'm just looking at this thing. Um, I sorry, it this looks question. very primnoid like. Okay, That's a primnoid for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what which one though. Dun dun dun. Um, mm, I think it looks kind of like that. Oh, definitely not as smooth. <laughs> yeah, it totally could be. I've Did been calling it Norella. <laughs> I don't think we need polyp zoom. We got enough. Roger. Thank you. 
And now we got leash to move too. Are we tilted like down more than usual or up more than usual? Oh, Very slightly so down. So much. I feel relieved. <laughs> did you see the halo? Oh, I did not. I saw the shroud. Yeah, the little shadow hey. in the front. This is like a great place to get Herc stuck. <coughs> yeah. Um, going back really quick to the question from the viewer. Um, now you're going to use it. Yeah, it depends on current, where things yeah, settle totally. sometimes, they need food. Um, so that can have play a part for sure, and if substrate is good and right, you're available right. and steady. Lorella. Hmm? Maybe. And Lila, I think the whips that we've been seeing have been, um, oh, what are they called? Oh, I have it right here. These ones, Candidella, oh, gigantic. We we had look zoomed in on them. And we didn't see that they were bamboos. So I think okay. they had that kind of polyp Starboard look. Bio cool. They had they looked Whoa. a lot like that. Oh yeah, with the like on either side. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. like a little. Yeah, sure. Thanks. There's a fish behind the rock on the right. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be a place I can get. I don't. Yeah, know. I was like, we're we're gonna. Driving into a garage here. <laughs> I'm backing into a parking lot. <laughs> or a car hole. Car hole. Total car hole. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's a Canadian phrase or just something you made up. <laughs> make that up. The Canadian phrase is parkade. But what about car hole? Can we get a oh, partial yeah, on this uh, coral that's right in front of the lasers? Right in front? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Well, it's pretty. Weird chrysogorgid yeah. of some kind. Uh, it reminds me of a type of flower that I cannot remember. Looks like baby's breath. There you go. Thank you. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> I was like, oh, that reminds me of a flower. Yeah, it's like weddings a lot. <laughs> Oh, okay. There's a little mushroom coral in the back there. Yes, you're right. Thank you. And Trevor, next time we see one of these long whips, mm -hmm. single whips, if we could spend a little time looking at it again. Yeah, the non-bamboo ones. What is yeah, this? Exactly. What are you? Ooh, Ooh something. Is Yellow. Yeah, oh. flexorid. Yeah, maybe. Large. Oh, these are some of the biggest things we've yeah. seen on the dive so far. <laughs> Pretty say, large indeed. Yeah. There's a leggy one up top there, the single branch. Yeah, single. we'll look at that in a minute. Okay. I find the plexorids and acanthagorgia so hard to tell apart. Yeah, me too. And you're better at this than I am. <laughs> no. If we could get some tighter zooms on the uh, yellow yeah, to course. help us figure out what it is. Did Chris mention if those are Calyptrophora? The, um, okay. He Steve, hasn't, but that's what I've been okay. calling them. It, when I w was on earlier, mm -hmm. Chris wasn't on, so I was that's taking a, a guess. Shot. Okay. This doesn't look like a plexor to me, but I am not an expert. I'm used to it. Now. I know it's so much thicker, which I always feel like seems more acanthogorgia, yeah. but then I'm always surprised by what is. Oh, yeah, Chris says acanthogorgia. Yay. Great. Thanks for that. And you want to zoom in and stay zoomed in on this? Uh, the white whip. The one. Yeah. Let's go to the one with the brittle star. Okay, Steve, go ahead. So we were thinking this is a type of primnoid called Candidella gigante. Not a bamboo, which we had seen a lot on previous dives. Mm -hmm. Bamboo coral. There's a nice sea urchin in the background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good eye. Has the tip been predated on? It, uh, it kind of looks Maybe, like it. Maybe, yeah. But not by this guy. That's a brittle star. Yeah, hard to tell. Who ate you? <laughs> Who did this to you? <laughs> yeah, great. You're still beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Um, can we also get some partials on this kind of feathery material and yeah, see if it's Dolinifera or if it's something else? Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, Kelly, I guess to get your answer your question, I don't take heading from Atlanta. I just look at contextual stuff, but if it's looking backwards, that's all fine. That's all fair game. I, I, I like that and I appreciate that because then I can use... Oh, nice. Thanks for the porch light. Yeah. My, uh, can we get some shot. polyp zooms? Yeah, go ahead. See what I can do here. Great, thanks. All right. Different types of stolen efforts. Shrimp. Shrimp. Uh, okay, we're getting a request to please zoom unbranched colony upper right on the top of the ledge. Okay, so that's bottom left and now off screen. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the ship? Uh, if we're going to sample, yes. If not, then that's fine. Okay. Don't know about not sampling this yet. View. Okay, let's just pretend we're not going to sample <laughs> and then we'll uh, see what happens. Oops, bunk. Uh, okay, Steve, go ahead, please. Are you looking for polyps or base, or what are you after? I'm not sure, and I'm not even... Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. Thank but you. this is confirmation that it's the same thing we were looking at before. Roger that. Thank you. you. Porch light. What a nice ridge this is. It, it is very striking. It's cool looking. All right, let's go this way. Is it possible to c zoom out on the Atalanta view just a little bit so we can kind of see a bit more? OK, there's not much more to see. Thank Look at you. this tiny spine here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking you the ready same for another boat? thing. Yeah. Yeah, another ship's move would be great, Lynette. OK. I'm going to do a quick look over the left. Maybe I'll do a slow look just so people can watch. Slow look. Off into the bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two two zero, please? Thank you. Trevor, I have a hurt question for you if you have a minute. Yeah. Uh, someone is wondering how much freedom of movement does Hercules have while on the leash from Atlanta? Um, they know that Herc has his own thrusters for steering and fine control, but does it mostly get towed along? It can move totally freely within the scope of the length of the tether. So if you want an exercise at home, the tether is 30 meters, but if you cut a piece of string that's 30 centimeters and you hold it 20 centimeters off the seafloor, AKA your desktop, then see how far you can move your other hand grabbing the other end of that string. That's how far her can move. Ooh. Make sure you don't pull it tight. You got to leave a little bit of a lazy oh. S in there, a little catenary. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> do as I say. Not as, Not I, as do. I do. <laughs> Great, thanks. So it kind of seemed like when we panned left, it was more of a very continuous sheet flow. And off here to the right, it's a little more rubbly. You can change that back to engineer. Thank please. you. I'm back. How was dinner? Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> I really liked the big uh, meatballs. They were too big. No <laughs> such thing. <laughs> I took half a meatball and then I think. I didn't know yet. I just saw I cut one in half, and I was like, "Oh, that's one. That's for me." We Whoever left that, we shared a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm trying to think of new lyrics to the the song. I split my meatball with someone named Steve. What? You know, on there top of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> keep, what? Keep going. All covered with cheese. <laughs> I split my meatball with someone named Steve. It's <laughs> very going good. Up Lynette? Yeah. Am I turning around? All right, got some camera slash light questions. I don't know. People <laughs> tagging this, but someone's wondering what would things look like with an infrared camera? Do any wavelengths of light reach this deep? And has anyone tried filters? 
I know no wavelengths of light reach this deep. From the sun, none. Right, or anything on the surface, right? But uh, what was the other question? Uh, uh, what would things look like with an infrared camera? I don't know. And has anyone tried filters? <laughs> Um, I'm not sure about filters. I, I haven't tried any filters on underwater cameras. <coughs> well, there you have Can it. Can we get a partial zoom on the white coral as we're going by? Yeah, you bet. Might be a little bit far <laughs> away. But yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't fine. have to be right away. Just when it mm. when the time is right. I just mean because I'm coming down slope. But you can go ahead and zoom there, Steve. I need a stapler up here. <laughs> I think there might be one. That is never something I thought I'd needed in here. So I think, again, this is a, the type of Chrysogorgia called... Uh, so I'm not sure on the genus name. It might have changed. But Romalogorgia militaris or Pluragorgia militaris. And this is because the... I don't know. The They're all thing. standing in the same yeah. direction. Yeah, they're all on one side. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Oh, spongy. Uh, yeah, spongy here's another one of these stocked sponges that we weren't sure on the ID of. At least in the earlier part of the shift. And now we are sure of the ID of? Uh, no. Rats. It's okay. Kind of looks like this one looks a little bit more like a caliphacus. Is it helpful to see this side for ID? Yes. Okay. Well, why don't we do that? Okay. Ahead, Chris zoom, is please. confirming that he also thinks it's a caliphacus. It's actually a bit different than what we saw earlier. That what we saw earlier looked like kind of a tulip bulb. This is a different yeah. shape. Great. Thanks. That you can come on. Porch light on again? Negative. Again, seeing some of these. I was just tilted way up, so it was happening there. Roger. Several just horizontal sponge, sponge stalks. There we go. It's been a feature we've seen throughout this dive. Mm -hmm. The water's really clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Used to, there must have been some really it's big sponges here. here at some point in time. Yeah. But something I'm not happened. seeing them now. Yeah, I don't know if Chris was on during that episode where we saw so many of those dead foraid. Trevor, we might want to try to sample sponges. these nodules. Nodule sample. Roger. Let's hold the ship, please. Bridge nav. Okay, thank you, Chris, for letting us know that the... Can we hold position, please? ...other ones we saw. Thank you. These look kind of small, but... That's a feature we've been seeing when we've seen manganese nodules in this area. I want to get a couple closer shots, Ooh, see okay. if it's worth um, worth sampling before we invest the ring net in that activity. Roger that. Uh, please zoom in. Oh, these are tiny. Yeah, yeah. Tiny little babies. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Baby take nuts. our chances that we're gonna see them again. Okay, come wide, please. I don't wanna. We only have one chance with the ring net. Continue ship's move. Yes, please. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters two two zero, please? Thank you. If you were wondering about the two green dots, um, those are lasers, you're right. Um, they're used for size estimation, they're 10 centimeters apart, so they give us an idea of how big things are, rocks and animals, both of them. Test for viewers at home, how many inches is that? Write it in the chat. Stand by, <laughs> Trevor, I'll let you know. <laughs> a little more broken up here and then that nodule field kind of a shelf coming up ledge mm -hmm. 
Oh, but I guess it's like we three point something. We got another Umbelula here. Ten centimeters. Two point nine or three. Three nine. Got a question from an oceanography student. Hope you're enjoying, I don't know if it's intro or not, but hopefully you're having a great time. Um, they're wondering, is the gentle swaying on the camera even when Hercules is stopped due to the underwater waves, current, or just momentum? Can we get a, is this a sea cucumber here? I don't know. Go ahead. It's a question for the front row. I wonder if they mean Hercules uh. or Atalanta. You can answer both if you want. Yeah. Gentle swaying. Okay. Thanks. You can come on. Hercules, I guess, would be from current or from a little bit of, I don't know, everything like momentum, thruster adjustments um, as it settles. I also might get a little tug on the tether. Mm -hmm. So usually Hercules is the one doing the tugging on the tether. Trevor, do you mind popping up a little bit and doing our pan right and left? Yeah. I mean, no, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Atalanta, when it's more severe swaying, a lot of the times it's like if I do a winch adjustment too quickly and don't ease off of it, sometimes it'll kind of jerk around a little. So I'm trying to do less of that. And Atalanta's smaller, so the currents kind of move it around more more than Hercules. Thank you. Great okay. answers. Remember that time 30 minutes ago when you had a question for me, Shelby? I do remember that. Wow, such a long, long time ago that what? question was. I don't remember. What was the question? <laughs> I never heard the question. <laughs> she never heard it. She There's a spinner right it. here. <laughs> do you remember what it is? And is it still relevant? It is. <laughs> it's all relevant when I bring it up. Um, <laughs> So it's pretty much long gone, but I think I pretty much remember. Um, a viewer just wa was wondering, I think you Partial were zoom here. mentioning that you shadowed or worked with somebody that was working with AUVs, I think you mentioned, and they were wondering, has anybody in the van ever worked with AUVs or did any work with them, I think, or something around that, those lines. And I was like, oh, I think I just heard Ashton say something. So if that was true, oh. then I guess you can... Restate maybe a little bit of All right, we think, I think this is an Amphidiscella euplectilid sponge with a little tiny brittle star on it. All right, thank you. Looks like there's a sea pen or a tube worm in the sediment there. This little mini knoll thing is very very different it's really cool it is really different the flows are kind of going horizontal to us versus like how we are climbing up those another pines. sea cucumber this is like sea cu is that a sea cucumber it's my it's day star. no it's a oh. slime star oh yeah yay star, star. <laughs> starry eyed can you zoom in on the star please it looks like it's made out of the same kind of play-doh <laughs> sea cucumber is made oh, it's the brainy of. looking <laughs> brain star. Brain star. Brain star. Yeah, you can like see the little feet on the bottom. It's like when you make Thanks. cookies and you have a little bit of leftover dough after you've cut them out. It's like whoever Ooh. made slime stars just rolled them up and was like, here, it's a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Let's spend a little bit of time looking at this sponge, please. Can you kill every light but porch light? Killing all the lights. So we'll want to get... Um, Oops. Ooh. 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 First. Yeah. Ooh, that was Ooh, dramatic. That was, that was very <gasps> dramatic. <gasps> what is swimming? Oh my goodness, what is that? Sure. Go, go, it's go! It's a squat lobster. Is it? I think uh, so. Oh, oh my swimming? gosh, I've never seen it oh, swim! Gosh. Oh, there we go. Oh, where's, the, where's the lobster? I was watching the... Up. 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 Oh, Hello. There's... Whoa. 
All right, Steve, if you got it, you can zoom. Go, go. Oh my gosh, this is oh, amazing. Oh, oh, it was like a squirrel camp. suit. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Whoosh. It's gliding. It is. It's like a flying. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is amazing. Parachute oh. mode, parachute mode. <laughs> I'm so glad we have porch light on for this to see the shadow. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it just falling. Oh. That Wait, was amazing. That was? That was. And look <laughs> at the texture in the sediment with porch light. So good. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right. The sponge we were looking at, if anybody is curious. <laughs> you know, All right. Thanks. Yeah, we're fine. Were we looking at a sponge? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That's the second thing I got to see swim today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That we never see swim. Come on, crinoid. I just need did, to see you. Did that get a five, Shelby? That definitely got a freaking five. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to go back to... We lost you there, Ashton. Oh, sorry. Um, let me see. I kind of like this dramatic view with these lights. Do you want to just keep it this way for a feel? Here's a another Arbita Gorgia. Keep the ship moving? Sure. Okay. Bridge nav. All right, I'm going to turn that back on. Can we have another step that five is zero meters, two two zero, please? Thank Still you. Still tiny little nodules. I did not think one of the coolest things I'd be seeing today was a flying squat lobster. <laughs> 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 it's so common down here, but it was like watching a flying squirrel a little bit. <laughs> like it's had the same like. <laughs> it's like it was skydiving at the end. Yeah. It was like all of its appendages back. I know. And then it just like, boop, Head forward, right on the And then floor. like, let them out like a little umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Trevor, people are saying 3.9 inches. 3.9. For your 10 centimeter. Six. Somebody said 3.93. Oh, oh, somebody said 3.97. 3.936, I think. And somebody said 2.54. No. <laughs> That's one inch. Hard no. <laughs> one inch, 2.54 centimeters. Good guess, though. 3.9, is it 3.936? I don't know. I'm trying to do math while doing this job. I can't do that. Is it 3.9? <laughs> and about it was 2.4 something just around centimeters inches per inch. 2.54 centimeters per inch. Hmm. 2.5400 zero oh. zero something. Ashton, you never clarified if you were AUV, did you, if you did AUV inches. things. Oh, I did go on a couple of um, <laughs> oh, little research yeah, expeditions Wait. in the Gulf of Mexico with some AUVs, which was awesome. Cool. Has any, well, I think the question was Can we pan right, Trevor? Yeah. Has There's a little else? pale pink thing right there that I'd like to look at. Go ahead, zoom. What are you? It's definitely a different game to have to think about a tether with ROVs versus AUVs, where that's not. You can do a little bit more there, Steve. Pull zoom. Hard to see against that background. Yeah, it is yeah. difficult to see, but. It All right, come wide, please. Okay, this we think is an unbranched Norella. Nodules. I did a. Which is a primnoid. Did a cruise on Nautilus in which we used an AUV. Oh, uh, yeah. So I sat here in the van and followed it around with the cameras on the back deck. That was an ASV, I think. Oh, you're oh, right. The surf. Is that the. Um, yes, I did not have done nothing drone? with AUVs. No. No, different. It was a yellow boat that I forget the name of. Ben? Uh, it was the UNH one. Okay. What's the name of that boat? Ben. Ben. Oh, you, ben. Just, that was, you just said that. Yeah, Is Ben. It? Was yeah. it Ben? Yeah. Okay. USN has one of those, too. I don't know what its name is. I forgot about the distinction, but un, uh, autonomous surface vehicle versus autonomous underwater vehicle. That was a surface one. That's cool. 
Can we get a partial on the sponge? Zoom in, please. And this is the one I think that we saw earlier. Red Oka. Maybe? It looks a little bit different. And again, this primnoid, unbranched primnoid to the left. Okay, thanks. Thanks, you can come on. Scientist ashore, coming in with Norella Hawaiianensis. Hawaiiansis. Yeah, for the yeah. the bigger unbranched ones we yes. saw just a minute ago. Yeah, which I think is what we also saw just a second in the last shot. And also an ID on that squat lobster for you, Shelby. <gasps> Give it to me. Munidopsis. That's the genus, I believe. Menenopsis? Munidopsid. I got it up on my screen if you'd like to. M U N I D O P. Oh, yeah, there's a D in there. Yeah. I see it on the science chat. Yep. Munidopsis. We still have yet to see an actual live, like, foray, like a big one, like yeah. these yeah. stalks we've yeah. seen. This is true. Oh, you mean true. on this dive? Yeah. yeah. Makes you wonder why, where the um, dead stalks came from. Is that a little two worm or a sea pen? Maybe two worm? Mm. Where? What? Oh, it was, yeah, it just went off. It looked like a two worm. Sorry, I got distracted there. Do these background. nodules seem a little bigger? Or are they still small? They're still small. They're, They're still like small. three centimeters. What size nodules are preferable? Bigger the better. Okay. So like this one. <laughs> there, I don't know that I've ever seen one that big. That's just <laughs> like a regular old nodule, not on a rock. Yeah, although some of these off to our left might be suitable. Can we pause the ship's move and maybe pan over there to the left? Watch it, I guess, is now under us. Yeah, like Those look pretty small, too. Yeah, they do. You're right. It was just a trick of the camera. It's all an illusion. Okay. okay. Uh, you can put the ship's move back in. Okay. Shrimp. Rock. <laughs> mm. Like Paragorgia off to the left. Someone asking for me. I didn't know if you're at SVL. Oh, yes, I am. Cool. Um, I have two questions that I think are more mapping related, but we can figure it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, someone is saying that it just boggles their mind that a surface ship can move accurately by a distance of five meters. What is the minimum move you can request? And then... Um, Someone's also wondering. Can we pan over here, please? Yeah, Roger that. How precise is your location reference? If in 10 years you wanted to come back, could you repeat this exact dive path? Can you zoom in on this mm. thing, please? All right. Good question. Um, so oh, the ship's moves little that, that we call in are usually 50 meters, maybe 30 meters, 20 meters. Um, I'm not sure um, how accurate it can get. Um, I think 
once it gets around two meters from the desired position, it kind of floats around a little bit. Thank you. Um, so maybe somewhere between two and five meters. Okay, um, cool. Is the closest we can get. Um, I've heard people call in a five meter step and then immediately apologize for it. <laughs> 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 the bridge just making fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to just continuously call in five meter steps. <laughs> um, yeah, we have really good positioning on the ship itself uh, because we're on the surface and we can get GPS. Um, so we could uh, retrace our steps very well with the ship. Um, as far as the ROVs retracing their steps, that's a little bit trickier. Mm -hmm. Look at um, the Because getting their sediment. position accurately mm -hmm. underwater um, is a little harder and there is a little more error involved. Um, so I think we could probably get close um, to retracing their steps. Mm -hmm. um, doing it exactly would be would be uh, difficult. Tougher, yeah. Yeah. Cool. We tried that yesterday, actually, trying to find that crack again. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's was, right. Offset yep. was, what, five, seven meters kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Cool. Thanks for the sediment. Zoom. Yeah, you bet. Mm -hmm. it's a little depauperate here of animal life. Are you feeling any current here, Trevor? Let's go dead stick and find out. Let me stop moving first. Yep, there we go. I would say no. Okay. Maybe even hard no. <laughs> <laughs> Slick. Someone's wondering, does day versus night make a difference at the depths you guys are exploring right now? No. How tired we are. <laughs> not for... <laughs> not that we know of, right? Not that we know of, since we were, I think, talking earlier that no light really reaches. It's not like things that live down here, you know, know whether it's day or night. But Yeah, day mm. and night is generally not something that is felt in the deep sea, yeah, but that's more tides are. Yeah. Mm. Um, there's, depending on where you are, there's... Um, where you are in the tidal cycle, there's more or less water pressure above the seafloor, mm -hmm. which can impact things like whether or not, if you're in an area that has gas concentrations above saturation, some of them will come out in bubble form. Or if you have more or less rigorous hydrothermal venting. Mm. Can I get a reset, please? I got an ocean question. How fast does a wave move? That's a trick question. No, it's not. I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> like move up and down or laterally? Laterally. I think it depends on the wave. So if like what formed it? Okay. Well, what's the fastest a wave could possibly move? I'll zoom in the sponge. I guess we call it the frequency. Well, that frequency is like kind of related to period and stuff too. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Zoom in there, please. All right. Oh, that is tiny. Yeah, it's tiny, and it's got a nice stock. Amphidoskelet again, and um, just to our left, on the other side of these rocks, I believe it's a xenophyophore, if we can have a look. Come wide, please. Uh, right here. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Good it's a big catch. One. Looks like. Okay, ready there. Oh. Oh, that is a bigger one than I thought. That that's not sure. Yeah, no, this is actually oh, is a else? dead sponge oh, okay. that's covered in sediment. So this I think it's that ferraid oka sponge <laughs> that is um, beyond ailing. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> beyond ailing. <laughs> it has. It has ailed. It has ailed, yeah. To no avail. Um, Trevor, I don't know the answer to your question. Okay. I Physical oceanography is my least strong <laughs> of the ocean sciences. 
Although any trained biologist listening to this dive might argue otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a partial on this? Yeah. Is that a uh, geodididae or something else? Oh, good. Zoom in on the something else, please. That's a good question for Emil. Yeah, Emil. It's a great question for Emil. Fast. Not yeah. a geodididae. Uh, nope. Somebody. I think it's just an old hold fast. No. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That yeah. was there before. Yeah. Thank okay, you. come on. Here's another of the Fred oka oh yeah, sponges. Oh, yeah. Let's do a. This is like a Shades of Grey dive. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Two little shrimp in the background. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Bridge nap. Someone's wondering: Do animals use Earth's magnetic field? Can we have field? another step five zero meters, two three zero, please? Thank you. Do they use Earth's magnetic field to navigate on the sea floor? Some bacteria can orient themselves according to magnetic fields. And cool. Direct. Yeah, that's really cool. That way, yeah. Not necessarily. Well, maybe in the deep sea. The ones I know about are not in the deep sea. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know that magnetotactic bacteria are in high enough densities for us to know if they're <laughs> orienting <laughs> themselves. Um, um, this is out of my experience. I think that is there is some place? evidence of. Whether it's magnetic field or actually that they can sense the larger mass of seamounts, mm. uh, can maybe oh, there's something in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like there's inside. two things inside. Definitely the shrimp on the side there. Is there any way that we can get a bubble cam shot down no, into it? I would say not. It's too wiggly. Okay. But we can. Yeah. Okay. I this think there's the no one. There's no non-destructive ways to tell. We could zoom in. Uh, Maybe if I look through the, yeah. Okay, come wide, please, Steve. Okay. I'm gonna land because we'll have to be pretty stable on this one. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna try a bump up. Roger. Yeah. Huh. I don't know that I've seen this one before. We saw it I when you we were at have. dinner. Yeah. Ah, oh, you were okay. at dinner. Okay. Aka. Okay. Oka. O C C A. Well, at maybe. least I was in the right family. I don't know. Shrimp, maybe? What are you? The there was a shrimp on the outside towards the bottom, but it swam away. Yeah, I think without snipping it open, we won't get the yeah. answers we seek. It's okay. It's a sushi sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right, you. Thanks. Trevor, a viewer sent in some information about wave speed, so <laughs> okay. I'll let you have that. Um, they say per scripts, uh, tsunamis are the fastest type of wave. Their speed is limited only by the depth of the ocean along their path. In the center of the Pacific Ocean, their speed can be very close to that of a jet plane, about 600 miles per hour. Whoa. Awesome. Thank you, Lydia Thank you. from Oregon. 600 miles an hour. That's scary. I wonder <laughs> yeah. if the limiting factor is the speed of sound in water. Like for the theoretical maximum, what's the speed of sound in water in miles an hour? Why? You know, in meters per second, very yeah. precisely. <laughs> meters per second is easier. What is it? 15, well, right now, let me tell you. 1492.2 <laughs> meters per second. 14, 1400? 1492. That's just yeah. shy. Basically, of, uh, 1500. That's the speed of sound in what in salt water. So just shy of a mile a second. Which is 3,600 miles an hour. That's fast. Yeah. That's Did I do that right? 360 scary. miles an hour. How does math work? <laughs> times 60 times 60. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like 3,600 to me. Yeah.
Shelby, going back to your question about organisms um, and like magnetic fields, mm -hmm. there was a bacteria that I worked with briefly um, that was able to like create a dipole within itself and orient itself. So when we were studying it, we would stick a magnet to the side of the tube and they would all swim to the magnet. Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. that sounds like oh. fun lab work. It was very cool. <laughs> very easy way to get a purified sample. <laughs> Yeah. Is there any magnetism in the ferromagnetic crusts? I don't think so. I do know that chitons have magnetic teeth. What? Mm -hmm. What? Those little chitons that you see have magnetic teeth. What are their teeth made of? Um, Annabelle. Google I'm will tell us soon. <laughs> Those are the little ones that remake teeth all the time also because they're like constantly like eating the face of the rock. So they're just wearing their little teeth down all the time. It's like a teeth factory. Tooth factory? <laughs> Magnetite. Tooth fairy, tooth factory. Yeah. Tooth factory. Right? Teeth factory. How are these nodules? Can you zoom in, please? First, we'll look at this animal, and then we'll look at the nodules. Magnetite. 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 I think that's something that's no uh, something that's been taken over by a hydroid. Mm -hmm. It's called lobster. The tiny one. Why are shrimp in the deep sea still such a bright red color? It's another sponge that Feria alka. I think it's because red is the same as gray down here. <laughs> Either one of them goes very far and yeah. it's, it's camouflage. Cucumber? Yeah, or like slime a star. I feel like this dive is a Where's Waldo thing. Who can see the animal first? It's like really, really hard to see things. Sea yeah, cucumber? can we pan is left? Is that a cucumber slime or a star? star. That's a star. I think, I think it's, it's a slime, slime star. star. Yeah. Yeah, zoom in on that, please. Whisker brain. Yeah, it's a total brain star. That's a pudgy one. It, yeah, it looks oh like wow. it's trying to hold its arms in. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. He must have had the same dinner we just had. Thanks. It's laying <laughs> on its yoga mat. He ate the whole meatball. Bridge nav. Can we have another step, five zero meters, two three zero, please? Thank you. Trevor, can you come off bottom and do a quick pan and right yep. and left? Quick, you say? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Our viewers may not be. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty expansive. It's definitely different than about an hour ago where we were seeing those like giant, like pillowy flows, and yeah. now it's very yeah. broken. Yeah. yeah, I'm very glad I took the sample when I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll just Great. keep. Chugging along here. Water is very murky. 
Yeah. It was a clearer, a very clear a little while ago. Mm -hmm. It's funny how that can change and you just don't even notice. Yeah, I know. It's this unbranched thing. Is this still a Gigantia? Um, no, hard to tell from this distance. I think this is an unbranched Norella. Norella is bamboo, I forget. No, Norella is a primnoid. Primnoid. Primnoid, okay. Cool. Can you zoom in on the base, please? Oh, bamboo. Oh, it's oh, a bamboo. bamboo. Look at that. Okay. Oh. Our first what one. What do you know? Bamboo whip. Yeah. Signature shot here. <laughs> do, do, do. What's that? What's that little line in the... Looks like, a line dead in the looks like a dead bamboo to me. Yeah, it could be. The C pen off to the right. I'm guessing this is another bamboo coming to the left of the lasers. We could have a quick look. Go ahead. Maybe not. Oh, maybe oh, yes. Oh, yeah, no. Thank you. Thanks. Viewers wondering, do most deep sea creatures have a lack, lack of color pigment due to them not having sunlight? or some other reason. That's what I thought I would see when we came down here, but all of the color has really just been like blowing my mind. Well, this dive isn't necessarily a great example. Well, not we've this done <laughs> some You could go to the past dives. <laughs> yeah, if you go to um, see some of the galleries from our re previous dives, you'll see just an explosion of color. Yellows, purples, mm -hmm. pinks, reds. Um, Neon yellows. Yep. So all kinds of things. Um, if you go to a gallery, the green thing that we could never identify. Yeah. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Um, if you go to nautiluslive.org and go to gallery, you can see some of the uh, videos, recent highlights. You can also go to uh, Nautilus, Nautilus Live, excuse me, on like Instagram and Twitter, and some of the highlights and things are posted there. You can see some of the corals and cool-looking fish and like. Chonocops and all of those, which are some deep sea anglerfish, um, and all of them have such vibrant colors, which has been very, very interesting and very cool to see at these depths. Uh, someone's wondering, is there a universal database that danger rope and other hazards are registered in to keep explorers <laughs> safe? Um, I know we do log them as debris when we see them, um, and so that gets put in a database. I don't know if there's a universal one, but we do take note of them and take photos and um, when we come across them. Would those kind of things end up in like a notice to mariners database somewhere? I don't know. That's a good question. I think it's so deep it probably wouldn't. Not at this level. Yeah. Most yeah. 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 <laughs> if it was surface level, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Notice the submariners. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish like there was that. a notice to submariners, um, because yeah, sometimes it's just operator dependent. You kind of have your own list on your own ship, and. Uh, as someone who's done research in the Gulf of Mexico, where there is a lot of debris on the seafloor, it can be a challenge. And it would be nice if there was a universal place yeah. to find that some of that information. Indeed. Uh, back to the question about the colors. How would they get their bright colors then? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's genetic or chemical or I'm not sure. Here's some of that's kind of like pancakey looking rock right there. Mm -hmm. I thought it was. I don't know. What's this thing? Weird. Ledge. That's a cute. The sponge? Or no, the sea cucumber. It's like a flattened cuke. 
flat cuke. Is it flattened or is it a trick of the light? It's a trick. <gasps> I think fooled. it looks nice and plump. Yeah. Can you zoom in on the plump boy, please? C pen. I think that's oh. a tube worm. Uh, tube worm. Is it going to take Is off? it going to swim? Swim. Oh, swim. Oh, oh no. nope. It's, 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 oh. Oh, lucky us. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's spend a moment looking at this. If we can. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, it's Putin. Oh. Yep. Oh, there we go. Nice sound effects. <laughs> oh. No. Like his break dancing, 360. Wow. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is so what strange. are you doing, buddy? <laughs> take off. This is going in my highlight. I see cucumber dancing around. Uh, <laughs> what? Is Stretch it going to take out. off? Right. Well, are you preparing to leave? A little yoga. Nope. It's just doing yoga. <laughs> yeah. It what do we call that move? <laughs> Cow. <laughs> it reminds me of like when you're in a sleeping bag and your whole body is like <laughs> You're flopping around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Barrel roll. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, Backside. Wow. I do want to see the underside. Yes. Wow. They're like, since the light's on me. Hey. Am I pretty? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. So cool. It's like dancing. I know, right? That's why so that's exactly what I said in my highlight. Dancing sea cucumber. Like oh, you are flexible. <laughs> <laughs> this is like its final pose here. And <laughs> hold. Do you think this is like a defense mechanism? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> or like a mating call. Oh. Or maybe it's a decoy and there's something coming. <laughs> <laughs> decoy. Have, does it have a little parasite on it, on its belly? Yeah, I was wondering about that. I can't tell. Huh. That little greenish yeah, spot. Right right there. Yeah, right yeah. there. Oh, oh, punk. Oh. Maybe it oh. wants a belly rub. <laughs> Is this how they travel on ground? It's right, is this how it moves? Maybe this is how it moves from one place to another. It could be fleeing. Oh my gosh, is it fleeing? What is it fleeing from? Us. <laughs> us. <laughs> it is coming towards us, so. Not the smartest of creatures, perhaps? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at it. <laughs> this is Incredible. peak intelligence. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is crazy. And curl. Yeah. I think this is literally just how it moves <laughs> to get to where it needs to We've be. We've seen so many moving creatures today. Wow. I, that we usually see that are just static. So it's just yeah. so yeah. fantastic. We were talking at dinner. Does anybody know how they mate or reproduce? This is its mating dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's could be. really bringing attention to know. itself. It is going for it. All right, buddy. I'm going to leave you alone now. All right. Thanks for the, you know, oh the show. <laughs> Goodbye. Good luck to you. New York City Ballet. It's about uh, to get to that, that little cliff, though. I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Don't roll off. I think it'll be okay. Bridge nap. People are saying maybe is it rubbing slime off. I don't Can know. Can we move five zero meters two three five, please? Thank you. What was that bearing, sorry? 235. 235. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must be how they move. Yeah. The uh, ID guide that we're using for s the Papahanaumokea, Mokoakea Marine National Monument actually has a picture of this sea cucumber in oh. motion. Oh, wow. No cool. way.
Yeah. What's the scientific name for it? Do we know? Senelactid and then Paleopatides. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Sounds great to me. All right. Thank you. It was interesting how it pooped and then took off. Like it's <laughs> kind of like what birds do. <laughs> <laughs> and her I mean, shed ballast. Makes sense. There are certain types of ducks that will poop on their nest if uh, they think that there is a predator in the region. Oh, to, to try, try and like deter, deter them. them. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Let me tell you, it's very deterring. <laughs> <laughs> well, then to we know it's working. as well. <laughs> Were those the birds that you had your your uh, camera trap set up on? Yeah, same ones. Uh, eiders, common eiders. There's another dead foreyad. Yep. there on the And a live left. one to the right. By that oh. star. Uh, no, not star crinoid. It's an umbelula. Is and duck poop enough uh, deterrence to deter polar bears? Uh, I don't know about polar or bears. What, was it, didn't or was it was it a grizzly. Okay. Yeah. Museum of the sponge. Grizzly please? still ate it. Oh. It's another one of these sponges in the sediment. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. What are you doing there, sponge? Being difficult to image. Yeah. yeah. And here comes <laughs> the shrimp, like, hey, y'all. <laughs> Don't forget, <laughs> we're always here. <laughs> <laughs> these are our grounds. Sorry. Not Umbrella. And a, and a uh, what is that? Tube worm? Tube, tube worm. worm. Oh, I don't know. They branch. All right. Like I gotta, no, no, no. I the, move oh. now. It's a, the thing the, is a um, balula. Oh, okay. Sea pen, but the one behind it was Let's a tube worm. Let's let the momentum end oh. after like, this When did they start move. branching? Let's let the momentum end after this move. It looks like some sea cucumbers release like egg and sperm out into the water column, and then that's how they regenerate some of them. Um, mm -hmm. But then also, I guess some of them can expel their internal organs under like stressful conditions and grow new internal organs within several weeks. What? Wow. And they dance. Well, yeah, they <laughs> definitely dance. <laughs> the coolest. Absolutely dance. Gosh, this We've is got a few dances to incorporate into our uh, <laughs> TikToks game. Yeah. Huh. yeah. We could do like a whole karaoke game. Yeah, I mean, we've had Ooh. flying squat lobsters today. We've had swimming sea, uh, pig. sea pigs. And then we've had this sea cucumber. Dancing sea cucumber. Dancing sea cucumber. It's been a lot. It's, it's been a lot of things today. And don't forget the shrimp. And don't, the shrimp are always. <laughs> Never forget the Never shrimp. Never forget the shrimp. Beth, were you there last year for the game of charades with Chris Kelly? No, I don't remember that, no. Oh. That was one for the ages. <laughs> like, sounds deep, like we missed out. Deep sea charades, yeah. That sea oh, deep yes. sea charades. Yes, yes, yeah. I was great. there for that. That sounds hard. <laughs> deep sea charades. It was pretty fun. What type of animals were in the... It wasn't all animals. It was also like <laughs> ship moves. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Who did the best like impersonation or the, if you can remember, Stephen, do you remember? Or what, oh I guess, yeah. what did well, they the do? I, I had a strong gulper reel. <laughs> oh. That was a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you got Chonikovs, your, your, your work is real easy. <laughs> yeah, my Niskin one was very good oh, too. The oh, Niskin. I heard about that one. I heard about your Niskin. <laughs> I slept through the charades. I'm still upset about it. Can we get a partial on this yeah. uh, coral going by on the right? On the right. Looks like it has some brittle stars or something. Yeah. Associates. Zoom in, please. Zoanthids. Yeah, there's definitely zoanthids attached. I'm trying to figure out what's underneath it. 
Is it a Acanthagorgia? Or I got Paragorgia? I do a little more zoom there, Steve. Yep. Do a lot more. What Close are zoom. you? What are you? Hmm. Yeah, what are you? It's difficult to tell with all the zoanthids. It's really yeah. challenging to get a look at the structure. All right. Thank you. For the viewer wondering if we can take core samples, we can, and we've taken one, one, <laughs> one I think, but there are push cores. I can't remember what side of the ROV they're, they're on, on the starboard, starboard side. side. On the starboard side, thank you. Um, and we can definitely, and we have taken one. Yeah, we've often been focusing our dives on relatively steep parts of terrain, so there isn't usually a lot of sediment accumulation where we're going. Is that a fish? What is that? Oh, yeah. Is it oh. just below the lasers? Oh, uh, looked like. Yep. Oh, might be my favorite fish. Okay, Steve. <laughs> you have a favorite fish? Oh, yeah. Tripod betcha. fish. Oh. oh, Steve is excited, guys. We got to zoom. <laughs> We've got everybody's favorite creature today. <laughs> What's on it, though? It's got something on top of it. You got more zoom? Wait, it's called a tripod fish? So I can tell you where the current's coming from. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. this is cool. Wow. Yeah. This is yeah, pretty. The headdress. So see how it's got its fins down? Oh, is that why you like it? It's, yeah. That's so cool. Is always it because it's videography related? Tripod? Yeah, and, you know, it's just always <laughs> in the current, you know, <laughs> steady. Look, it's got its... No, this just looks like something, like uh, something growing on it or caught on it. Yeah, I can zoom in a little more. Yeah, I don't know what we're looking at. It looks there. almost it like a sea spider or something. On the left there? No, on the fish. Oh, oh bye. whoa. Oh, bye. I've never seen it with those oh. gills like that. Yeah, I me mean, neither. Yeah, I think it was a part of his body. That's bye. a different type of tripod fish, please. maybe. Yes. Oh, come on. oh he's fast. Go, go, go. Fast. Why so on, fast? Oh, yeah, those are his gills. Yeah, those are. Yeah, those yeah, belong whoa, to him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, All oh, right. oh. Just keep your distance, please. <laughs> All right, I gotta back away. Where are you? Bye. Oh, All right. Okay. I don't want to hurt him. Okay. I'm gonna. Look at it swim. I'm move on. That is really cool. It's very cool. Wow. Too. Those are long, what, appended or whatever those are. Yeah, that's different. I, I, I think that okay, would still be forge. called a tripod Thanks. fish, but maybe not because I've never seen those type of long gill. That was cool. That was cool. No, that might be my favorite part of the watch. <laughs> even though we had the break dancing. <laughs> it's been a great. It has been a yeah. wicked one. cool watch. What, we, what was the Love first it. thing we saw that was? It was the um doing the worm that. sea pig. We saw something swimming though. We saw a, a headless a sea pig swimming. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't can we get a zoom on this yellow? Yes, coral? we can. Did we also see a headless chicken? In. There was one I on think the at last dinner time. Was. Oh, no. while well, I was yeah. at dinner? Yeah. Headless. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. So this is the same thing again, a paragorgia that's just mm -hmm. totally covered with zoanthids and brittle stars. Yeah, okay. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. Come on. Looks and like there's another one in the background. Is the, are the zoanthids harmful to the coral? Yes. Do we know yet if the zoanthids eat the coral or just use it advantageously? Don't know. Can you get a partial zoom on that whip? Yeah. We've got Asako on the line. Maybe zoom she'll in, answer please. that for us. Yeah, I'd be really curious. Like, do they sort of suffocate it or block it from eating since they're sort of taking up all the space? Or gigantia, maybe? It's very tall to be a gigantia. 
Well, the Gigantia are lo very long. Uh, it's hard for me to tell. It's probably easier to see at the base if it's a bamboo uh, or not. But it's okay. We don't necessarily okay. need okay. to tie ourselves in knots to figure it out. Stephen, a viewer is commenting on the tripod fish saying that those sort of long appendages are part of its modified front fins. They used to sense things. That's so cool. Thank you, viewer. And they're also called spider fish. Spider fish? Okay, so yeah, that w probably was a primnoid. These look like hemichoralium with some brittle stars. Wow, the sky looks awesome. It does. Outside? <laughs> Outside, yes. <laughs> Outside the, the sky. sky. Uh, if you're watching on feed three uh, viewers, Stephen just put up the... Is that our first hemichoralium? Outside, that's cool. No, we've seen more. We've seen a few? Okay. Here's a more fun question. Somebody's just wondering what each of our favorite characters are. It can be in a movie, a TV, book, anything like that. I personally love Raymond. You have to roll your tongue from Princess and the Frog, the lightning bug. Or can we get a partial on this flies, right here? I think. Yeah. <laughs> lightning oh, bug. never mind. It's just. Oh, have you never heard that? Now um, I know what it is. Ambulula. We call Ambulula. them lightning bugs in the south. Lightning That's a good favorite character. <laughs> oh, here's actually a healthy <laughs> Walteria. Yeah, zoom in please, Steve. What? Not ailing, huh? Ailing yeah. at the bottom. Starting yeah, to ail. Ailing at the bottom. Boots are worn <laughs> out. That's what's all. What's this big spicule tendril string thing hanging off it? Wait, let me get it lined up again. Hold on. What? Uh, uh, if I just go down a little bit, there was a line tangling off it. Oh, it's really, really, really hard to see. You gotta get just the right background. And I'm, of course, bouncing all over the place. Okay, let's see. He's got two, I've got a couple of them. Yeah. Three of them. See him against the black rock there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like a what? There's a bunch of them. Dang, oh, I still don't see. Oh, yeah. What are we looking at? Very Somebody fine threads. Very oh, fine. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. If I can. Go up, huh. I wonder. Yeah, yeah, try, try, yeah. Is that better uh, or worse? That worse? I think it's worse. That's worse, yeah. Yeah, Sorry that's worse. Guys. It's fine. It's good to try. I'm trying to mix them up by thrusting around a bit here. I think it's... I don't uh, know where it's coming from. Is it from the Walteria? Mm -hmm. It I looks like it so. is, yeah. Yeah, Maybe. it totally is. Yeah. yeah, it totally is. Now that I've... Maybe. There's something on the... Ah. Branch. Uh, hello. I bonked there, but let's. I can. I'm pretty stale. Hi, Shrimp. <gasps> what shrimp. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're busy. Man, they are just camera hogs. Okay, uh, try to zoom there. See if I'm a little bouncy, but see what you can do. See if we can get any of that. Anyone see any anything? Yeah. Do you? I mm. did. But yeah, I don't know there's what it's from. two little wispies there's right like here. A, there's like a pink thing on the end of that spicule. Uh, yeah. Above that. Oh yeah. I'm definitely pushing I think it's sand. From, I think here, it's from there. Yeah, it's almost like there's. A All right, before I start visiting, where I'm gonna go. It's pretty. There's a dead parade in the background. Just you know. Because there are always point is. That I, yeah, I know. Huh. Have my corallium coming up on the rock here. So do we think that was a critter? in the Volteria, or do you think that was the Volteria itself and we just didn't have never noticed that before? I think it was like a jelly. Yeah, I think something was attached. Like attached to the Volteria. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody I says agree. maybe a benthic tenophore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Floating along and got stuck by the spicules. Yeah. Again, a pair of Gorgia with zoanthids.
Can we get a partial on this as we're going by? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, Steve. Bouncy zoom, please. Hmm. The original structure kind of looks like that sponge that we were seeing, the Oka. Yeah. It does. Oka. All right, yeah. thanks. Could that be a, uh, what's this, st stonifera? What's the one? Stolonifera. That? Stolonifera. Could that be a stolonifera? Do they grow on? I'm not sure. Things? Oh, here's a really long Aritagorgia coming yeah. into view. Hmm. Magnus spiralis, I believe. Yeah, sponge with stolonifera. That's what it was. Hmm. Steve, you want to zoom in as I back away? Roger. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> that is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. But worth that it. That was a lot. Coming wide. <laughs> Coming back to the zoanthids and sort of core relationship, one of the viewers um, are saying that it's almost mutualistic with the Paragorgia and will not fully take it over and leave the tips like we saw alive but it's unknown if they will overtake fully or exist together i think we've seen them overtake fully before i'm pretty sure i've seen that maybe i'm wrong i feel like maybe you're right I see some pretty overrun can we get a partial on this as we get over there yeah no, I, I think we're good now yeah thanks for checking So it looks like there's a Walteria in the background. Okay, S Steve, zoom in, please. You wanted these ones, right? Yep, exactly. Okay. It's a very healthy looking Walteria mm -hmm. in the background. Okay, okay you thanks. can come There's wide. something over to the right here, too. Ooh. Oh, there's another Walteria. Oh, that's a cool looking one. It's a really healthy looking one. Let me come around that side. You could do a half zoom there. That one's got clean boots. Yep. Some That's a really healthy one. Stolen yeah. for a yeah, on the rock looking real it. great. The greenish yep. right, yellow? Right beneath. Is that what you're... Yep. Wow. Cool. Okay. I'm going to get out of there. Yeah. So how is this dive progressing, Beth? You still looking good for a noon recovery? Are you um, breaking speed records or are we? No, we're not breaking speed records. Let's see, right. we are about 1.3 kilometers through a 6.5 kilometer dive track. Mm. Uh, so about a quarter of the way. And I don't know what time it is. Seven. It's a little after seven. So, yeah, and it'll probably slow down as we get shallower, and there'll be more things to see. Yeah. So okay. I think we're doing good. Slime star. Great. Hyman Aster. You said Hyman Aster, Diane? Yep. Aster. That was from Scientist Ashore. I'm just repeating. Gotcha. Can we get a partial on the coral coming up? Mm-hmm. Actually, it looks like two different coral, kind of. Maybe not. Okay, zoom in on the whole rock, please. Yeah, that zoom is sticky. Three different types of coral. Oh, yeah, all in one way. Oh, yeah, there's a Chrysogorgia in the back. I think. Um, 
Paragorgia in the front? Paragorgia in the front with zoanthids on it. Zoanthids, yeah. Oh. It's like half has zoanthids and half looks good. And the one in the middle, I keep messing up the name of. Yeah. Oh, with the sea star yeah. chomping. Let me go back. Calyptrophora, I believe. Thank you. another steep wall we're coming up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting a correction that the one in the middle was a primnoid. Unless I've got that mixed up. Hey, Stephen, I've pulled up some information about your fun fish. <laughs> Sweet. No, same Here, thing. Clipstrophora is a primnoid. Yep. <laughs> Do T share, Diane. Tell us the fun information. Yeah, don't leave us hanging. Well, I here. just have a species. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Also, I was waiting for like I didn't know if people were concentrating. <laughs> but yeah, those structures are part of the fish there. Ipnopidae, bathyopterosis. Well, that's a name. Yeah, that's wow. a mouthful, huh? Yeah. Hypnopidae bathyostris. Maybe Annabelle can, can do more more fun mm -hmm. things. Was that terrible to ask you to do this? I was already typing it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see. <laughs> a lot of these, yeah. We'll, we'll see if there's anything. Is, is it a, considered a tripod fish or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Partial zoom on this yellow coral, which mm -hmm. might be uh, a Canthogorgia or a Plexorid. Can't tell from this distance. Go ahead. Zoom is sticking again. Watch that. Can you go a little more, please? Those are polyps, yeah. Those are not zoanthids. Definitely not zoanthids. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, you can come wide. I think that was an Acanthogorgia. But sometimes they look so similar to me. Sako might chime in here in a moment. I'm hopeful. Yeah, so we're both uncertain. <laughs> Acant the Gorgia yeah. or Plexorid. Here's a question. How firmly are sponges and corals attached to their rock bases? Are they easily pulled away, or do they break off in sections? Viewer will have to watch next time we sample them. There's another question. one of those parade orcas going by in the bottom left. I think they're pretty well fixed on there. Yeah. Maybe when they get, when they're not uh, well, when they're ailing. Maybe do, do they get weak and can like break off eventually? Since we've seen a lot of stalks, I don't know. Well, often we see the holdfast still attached That's and the true. stalk broken off. So the holdfasts, I believe, are pretty darn sticky. Yeah, pretty darn sticky. Yeah. So there you go. Holdfast Speaking remain. Speaking of holdfasts, look at that one over there on the right. Oh yeah. Yeah. If we could get a partial zoom on that one. Bottom right. 
Yep, please. Coral or a sponge? Coral. We'll get the sponge in a second. Okay, going on the coral, please. Sorry. That's, I'm trying. Oh, wow. Hello. Really sticky. Raj. Uh, can we pan right? Yeah, I'll slide over there. Yeah, we're going to get the coral at the bottom. So this looks again like a paragorgia with zoanthids on it. Yellow on dark pink mm -hmm. with maybe a hemicorellium at the bottom. And then this very nice Walteria sponge climbing up to the heights. It looks like another sea cucumber here. Oh yeah, we can have a quick look. This is a very steep cliff. Wow. Our sheer face. Mm -hmm. Whoa, the ship roll in that view just gave me a little, <laughs> gave me a little, uh, woo. Ooh. Woo. Okay, zoom in on the woo. Head spin. <laughs> that was oh, sea pig. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if we could just bump right to the um, unbranched coral here. Nodes or no nodes? Looks like no nodes. No nodes. I think this is a norella, unbranched norella. Nodeless. Nautilus. Noodles. Right. So for anybody watching, we've just cleared the 2,000 mark water depth. Steep. So as we head sheer. up this uh, ridge, a north north oriented or northeast oriented ridge on King George Seamount. We've come full circle on this expedition. <laughs> this is the first seamount we dove on, uh, which felt like an eternity ago. Um, it was only <laughs> ten dives ago. Only ten dives ago. <laughs> This one's not neat. And uh, thanks. expanding on that, because someone just asked where in the world we are. Um, so this seamount, King George, that we are exploring Catch. is within um, Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument, which is in the Central Pacific, is, uh, is an extension of the Hawaiian Islands. Um, you can go to papahanaumokuakea.gov, I think it is, to read more about the monument. And Can we get a history. partial zoom on the coral to the top right? Mm -hmm. And I believe it's the largest protected conservation area in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, zoom in, please. That's where we are. We are. Um, we've been diving for a couple of days. Well, week, week or so, in the inside the monument. So this looks like a paragorgia that does not have zoanthids all over it. Might be the f first one we've seen that doesn't have zoanthids. Yeah, it still doesn't seem to have its polyps out. There's a recently ailed uh, Walteria there. It's not all covered in sediment, but it's still white. Yeah, to follow on what Shelby was saying, we're on King George Seamount, which is uh, one of the lar the I think the largest it's seamount the largest currently, yeah. on the eastern fork of the Lilio Kalani Ridge. Fish zoom there, Steve. And. Uh, this is the first time that seamounts of the Lilio Kalani Ridge have been visited with a remotely operated vehicle to so see the seafloor. Um, many of these seamounts were mapped at high resolution for the first time just late last year. Haven't we done some fresh mapping just now? Yeah, we have also been continuing to map. So we knew where the seamounts were 
and had good images of the majority of the seamounts from that mapping. And on this expedition, we've been filling in gaps in that mapping, um, usually around the edges of the seamounts, and also targeting some smaller seamounts, more uh, deeper conical shaped seamounts, not quite as big as what we're diving on today. King George Seamount is a flat top geo, which indicates that at some point in its history, it was a very large volcano that was above the water surface. It was eroded away, uh, probably had a coral reef grow on top of it, and has subsided. And Lynette, a geo is spelled like? Yeah. <laughs> Pop quiz. <laughs> G U Y O T. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Nice. yeah. There you go. Well done. Nice. What's this little thing? Not G E O. <laughs> not <laughs> not G E O. What is this? Or another sponge? I think this is again sponge like debris. a piece of sponge that's been encrusted. Okay. It doesn't look like a xenophyophore. Thanks. Is that the first stage of ferromanganese crust encrusting? Pretty much. You could get something start to crust over that. Wild. Anywhere there's a template. For the viewer wondering if brittle stars use corals as nests or if they are grazing and they will ultimately kill the coral, I'm not sure. I know they use them to get higher up in the water column, I think. Um, but I don't know if they end up killing the coral at the end of the day. Usually, uh, I feel like a lot of the corals we've seen, brittle stars coiled around, have looked pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if that's usually the goal. Um, they may just be trying to get higher up to feed better. Was it brittle stars that we talked about in the Gulf of Mexico help, helping to keep oil off of corals? What, after a spill? Oh, I yes. don't know. Sounds yes. familiar. That sounds we familiar. About that. Okay. Yes. A couple of dives ago. <laughs> yes or now? Yes or now? <laughs> Soft yes, I think. It looks like a tala slope that we're coming up here. Can we come off bottom a little bit, Trevor? Just mm -hmm. to have a larger view. And do a pan and come back down or stay off? Just stay off for a little bit, please. Sounds good. We can see in the Atalanta view that it doesn't really <laughs> vary much mm -hmm. around us. Mm -hmm. Some broken pillow fragments here. Look like they've tumbled down from somewhere else. Oh, here's a big Check stock. Check out that stock. Wow. Whole stock, no coral. Yeah. Uh, huh. Hmm. <laughs> Can you tell what it was? Huh. Is there a way to tell what it uh, was? At the very top on the left, it looks like there might still be some structure. Oh, a couple. Yeah, okay. Zoom it in. It looks like please. a bamboo. It was a bamboo. It is a bamboo. Um, it is, yeah. Is that the culprit it. on the rock? <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. Get away, she looks car. cool. Can start calling them uh, panda stars. <laughs> uh, panda stars. Okay. Wow, look how well you can see the bamboo structure. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. I mean, I wish it was alive, it looks like obviously. A but <laughs> bones. It does. It looks like yeah. the Nightmare Before Christmas guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think this might be in the I4 <laughs> clade of bamboo. Has kind of that knobby structure, maybe. So I guess that doesn't necessarily Carrera mean that tosis. it's dying. Right, maybe. It can still keep living like that, can it? Yeah, that's yeah. what we learned As long earlier. as some of the polyps are still going. Yeah. <laughs> I 
It's just actually got an advantage because now it's up in the water column. Oh wait, not the I4 clade. That was wrong. That was probably keratoiesis. Either way, definitely a bamboo coral. Back to the brittle stars, a viewer just... Can we get a partial on this whip right here? Mm -hmm. Saying that spiny brittle stars can damage coral tissue, but snake stars are mutualists and live on the coral their whole life, apparently. Wow. Well, okay, zoom on the, the coral, coral, please. They were saying the spiny brittle stars doesn't necessarily like, eat them, but I guess maybe their texture can damage the... Huh. Like the uh, tissue, but snake stars, you know, are also wrapped in there sometimes. Yeah. So and I'm not seeing any nodes here. They live so there their whole lives, apparently. Whip. Node free zone. Little urchin. I think there's some interesting relationships between brittle stars and specific corals, but I'm, yeah being like exclusive to mm, yeah but I think they do some of the or actually I'm not sure look at how botryoidal this is <laughs> yeah nice. I feel like you zoom in it's like has that texture you zoom out it has the same texture just bigger botryoidal all the way down <laughs> So I think that whip we were looking at was a type of primnoid, an unbranched primnoid, which we had seen earlier, Candidella like gigantea. <laughs> Not 100% on that, but it's my closest guess. Here's Walter. I thought you were about to say, here's Waldo. It's like, so what? Similar. <laughs> Walter often has like a shrimp inside, mm -hmm. sometimes a brittle star, but m more often than not, it's a shrimp, I think. Mm -hmm. Can I have a reset, please? Yep. Yeah. Who's over there on the top left corner? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Top left, let's Real find out. Leggy. Yes. I thought it was a. Oh, that's wow. interesting. Uh huh. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. I believe this is a Norella primnoid. Could be wrong. Anybody see any bamboo nodes? Uh, so I don't. I don't think no, so. No, I don't see any. Negative on the bamboo nodes. Okay. No. Partial on the yellow coral, please. Raj. Go ahead, Steve. Oops. Can we get a tighter zoom on the polyps if possible? Uh, Are yeah. you moving too much? No, I can get there. Just give me a sec. Okay, go ahead. It's very pretty. It is indeed. Okay, you can come wide. Thank you. That's definitely a plexarid. Yay. Glad you got to see that, Asako, as you're joining us. I think that was in all caps. There was a lot of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> see the structure. And here's another one of these primnoids. Can we get a partial on the one in the background with the maybe a something on there's it? That background, yeah. A shrimp. Dead parade. Yeah, go ahead, zoom. 
was on it. Oh, yeah, it's a sea star. Oh. On a sponge. Oh, on a interesting. Sponge. Do you think it's huh. eaten the sponge? Is that the first time we've seen this? Yeah. On a sponge? It looks like yes. half of the, the ball of sponge is gone. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Why would Wait, someone want to eat that? <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's, it's sharp. Spike. Uh, huh. Empty cool. calories. I feel like this is the first time we've come across. It looks like, in general, sea stars can eat sponges. Huh. Really? Um, Thanks. You can come wide. Interesting. Right, what I'm reading is more on shallow organisms, but huh. getting into an area of big broken pillows again. Yeah. That's so interesting. That's the first time we're seeing that relationship. Yeah, um, we don't usually see them on the sponges, but for the viewer wondering what's always wrapped around the corals, it's usually brittle stars, I feel like, that we see, but snake stars can also be wrapped around. Are brittle Squat stars lobsters hang out on corals. A lot of people hang out on corals. Can we get a partial uh, pan over to this way and see if that's a Victor Gorgia or something else? Might just be the light playing tricks on my eyes. I think you're right. Looks Good purple -y. eye, yeah. Nice one. Uh, zoom in, please. So this is that paler purple. Oh, I gotta go, sorry. Okay. Just saw something. Coming wide. Coming up. What did we just see? Cliff and Atalanta. Okay. That's yeah, that's worth getting on the move for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. It's not so bad, but now's the time to react before yeah. it is bad. <laughs> exactly. another plexord going by in the yellow. We'll hope that it is. <laughs> All right, we weren't that close to danger, so Yay. we're good now. Phew. Safe. Yeah, I didn't mean to instill panic in anybody there. It's OK. It's not a crisis. Oh, All right, there's a Umbelula sea pen off to the left. A Walteria that looks like it's recently fallen down on the left, also. Opa Lula. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Lynette, where is Waypoint 5? Is it directly south of us? It's pretty south. I'll okay. move out. Can you see the high pack screen? Yep. Yeah, I can. I was just curious. Can we get a partial on this, please? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, there's quite a bit of distance between waypoint four and waypoint five. Ooh. Mm. What Can are I zoom you? In, please? What are you? This will be bouncy. This is I think Zoanthids. Yeah, it looks like Zoanthids. But what was it originally? Can't tell. Okay, thank you. you come wide. Someone's wondering where are deep sea isopods generally found that they've never seen any. Have we seen any? No. Did we see a well, fish? So that we thought person, we yeah. saw one we, on a yeah. fish. Yeah. yeah. Are they talking about like the giant isopods? We definitely haven't no. seen that. They haven't, but they didn't specify, but we definitely have not seen the giant ones. We would have nope. remembered that. Um, yeah. We haven't seen any, um, but they are generally found in cold, deep waters. 
in the Pacific and Atlantic and maybe somewhere else. I'm, uh, in my experience, you don't just kind of run across them, uh -huh. but if you put down a food trap, oh. they will be on it quickly. Mm. Now I feel like I want to go back and look at the whale fall video and see if there were any ice ones. <laughs> Are they scavengers? Are they scavengers-ish? I someone was showing me uh, photos or videos of them on, like a uh, crocodile on the sea floor. Oh my gosh! Dead crocodile. That's yeah, that's rough. Uh, <laughs> which way am I going? <laughs> Coming back. Are you still pulling me? <laughs> no? I wonder if I'm fighting. Ah, I did just turn it off. Thanks. Let's see. Come on, little buddy. So I got an email um, today from uh, or ornithologist from Vancouver, mm -hmm. and it was a woman who let me film on her balcony for oh, Nesting yeah. with the Devil. And I was like, wow, oh, I haven't really? watched that oh. film in a few years. And then it's funny that you just reached out to me. That's cool. And uh, I have an update from her. She says uh, the, the herons are back a few weeks later this year for some reason very late spring but they have eggs now and the eagles have rarely made an appearance she says thanks oh. thank goodness she hates that <laughs> <laughs> but the eagles are nesting there uh and just not make an appearance in the heron's nests or what they have a spot there that's like mm, kind of like a, a bit of a distance away in stanley park so it's like they're on one side of stanley park and the eagles nest is on the other oh cool yeah. Maybe it's close enough they still got the protection? Oh, yeah. here's a little bit of stuff. Can we get some partials on this? Yeah, no problem. Cool. Anything that one? specifically? Uh, start with the right, work up to the left, please. Sounds good. That colony wasn't one of that had a super close eagle nest. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, right. Oh. It was kind of like right next to the apartment building. That's where I filmed the, well, one of the predations. Um, okay, zoom in, please. But they on have some... anything? They have some extra protection there because the Park Service puts, uh, like, sheet metal around the base of the trees so raccoons can't climb up and raid the nest. Oh, oh cool. Oh. Yeah. There's a weird thing in the Atalanta camera that... I just saw that, Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of weird thing? I don't know. Fishing gear? A jelly, no. It was okay. Kind of jelly. So. Like, no, no. Okay, can we get can a closer one on this, iris. this final yeah. one? I think it was the one covered in zoanthids again. You can call again. another move. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Steve. Yeah, this looks the same. Yep, yeah, it does. Same type of dark coral stem with zoanthids attached. Yeah. Okay, now I'm moving along. Yep, got to keep moving. We've got cliffs.
going back to deep sea ice pods really quick. Someone's wondering what kind of food traps an ice pod. Um, well, from what I'm reading, um, <laughs> they are scavengers. Um, they often have to go for very long periods of time without eating, but they've been known to feed on fish, crab, shrimp, squid, sponges, and whale carcasses. Maybe they were on that whale fall video. Got to go back and look now. And they are also known to attack trawl hack catches, apparently. Hmm. The, yeah, the giant, these are the giant ones, giant ice pods. Umbalula. Umbalula. Sea pen. I just googled giant isopod. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did too. I don't like. Are it. you unfortunately it not was a liking the <laughs> I was like, they're well, awesome. They're cool. I think they're super cool. They remind me of giant roly polies. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love how every part of the world has a different word for roly polies. <laughs> Oh, what do other people call them? In uh, the UK, they call them pill bugs. Yeah, pill I, bugs. I grew up with them called wood bugs. Oh. Uh, I was just telling Annabelle that we call fireflies lightning bugs where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. I grew up with. <laughs> lightning bugs. Me too. Cool. Oh, I know you did, Diane, in North yeah. Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all call them lightning bugs in um, New Orleans? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> I think that whole Princess and the Frog movie was based in New Orleans. It was, indeed. There's a really interesting podcast about lightning bugs slash fireflies on the Ologies podcast. Ooh, Any of you guys have ever yeah. listened the to that ologies? one? Yeah. Ologies. Ologies. It's called Ologies, oh, and good. it's um, uh, a woman who basically takes uh, a topic usually of some biological origin, but mm -hmm. also like different sciences as well. And then she has one that's about fireflies, and so she interviews a, a scientist about lightning bugs slash fireflies. Ooh. Fireflies. Yeah, that's and really then she good. brings in different species. So There's a giant one, like, you know, in Asia. There's giant the lightning bugs? Yeah, Whoa. different things. And then she talks about, like, I think we were talking about fireflies the other day, yeah. right? And I was talking about those different ones in North Carolina, and she talks about, like, those different types. And anyway, and, like, what makes them glow, et cetera. I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Let's let the next move settle out. Okay. Do you know there's a firefly festival in Pennsylvania? Yep. No, I did not. It's there was also supposed to be an epic firefly festival in the Caribbean. Didn't happen. Yeah. Different oh. firefly. Oh, the fire festival? Oh, is it, what is it called? <laughs> firefly? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Don't <laughs> just ignore me. You ever see the TV show Firefly? Yeah, yes. that was where I was going next. <laughs> yes. Is it about fireflies? No. It's about no. the oh, ROV okay. team. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you relate, okay. Do you, do you feel like it's pretty relatable? It's <laughs> <to> your job. <laughs> Is it like a reality show? No, it's nothing to do with ROVs in actual no. fact. But oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, like sci-fi combined with a cowboy show. It's a space oh. western, yeah. Oh. Yeah, space western. So That's a better way of saying it. Good. There's okay. no way to describe it without sounding cheesy. So pure entertainment. Cheesy, Very much so. so okay. Joss Wheaton. Is right. that the guy's name? Allergies have been added to the like list. Following and Can we get a partial plural? zoom on the side of the rocks for these um, yeah. either stolonifera or barnacles? Oh, I see. Yeah, sure. And uh, I think there's a little cup coral there on the... Yep. Could you turn on porch light? And Steve, can you zoom in, please? Porch light. Ooh. It can't be super long here, but we can stay a bit. Okay, those are stolonifera. Thank you. Okay, come wide. Okay, I got a couple more roly-poly names from around the world. Okay. Right. Or isopod slash roly-poly names. Uh, I don't know where this is, but someone says so bugs or sow bugs. Oh, yeah, sow bugs. Sow yeah. bug, okay. I've heard that. In Australia, they call them slaters. Can you pan right to that mm -hmm. large yes. fan? That's interesting. Slaters. In the UK, they call them wood lice. 
don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> Not hard no. Hard no on the wood lice. <laughs> cute name. Yeah, if that one's oh, a little scary. Where do they call them? Pill bugs. Pill bugs. Pill bugs. I feel like termites. Can we get a partial on this coral here? <laughs> Ooh. See if it's alive or dead. Yeah. Do you have time for that, Trevor? I do. Yeah. Go ahead, please, Steve. Yeah, the wood lice makes me itchy. A couple little polyps at the very end of this Looks bamboo like the coral. Looks like rockets on has taken a tumble. Yeah. Yeah, oh. he's hanging in there. Yep. Two okay, thank coral. you. Stick with it. Still some polyps on there. We're rooting for you, Coral. Whoa, this structure is wow. According to Wikipedia, they're also called potato bugs and cheese logs. Cheese logs? Cheese what? logs? No. Yes. <laughs> what? I, it's right there on the list with Slater's. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. Oh, cheese log was Come like up, a Delta, Christmas delicacy. <laughs> I was like, aren't you? Yes, yeah, it's something. It sounds like it's something for dinner, for sure. It's a cheese is that log. A mushroom coral? Can we slow down a bit so we can look at these corals? Is that possible? Yeah, we'll let the next ship move settle out. Oh, these, these specific ones? Like, yeah, this whole area Ooh, here. Uh, We're getting we might need to, to move the ship backwards just a hair. Depends on how long you want to stay. Okay. Would this be an EDNA place or no? Bridge nav. I just want to get us, because it looks a little bit now. different. Do you want to stay in sample or you want to just... position, please? Do a little looking around. We're just looking around right Thank now. Thank So... We got some Alteria with yellow crinoids. We've got different type of Chrysogorgia, these little ones. On the little shelf. Big mushroom coral. Lots of Alteria here. This is definitely the biggest density we've seen so yeah. far on the cruise uh, dive. Um, can we get a partial on this large white fan? Yes, we can. I'm not sure if it's a Jason Isis bamboo. Okay, Steve, go ahead. Yeah, so definitely a bamboo coral. Nodal branching, I think. Yeah, it does look, uh, oh, yes, yeah, nodal, not. yeah. You're right, nodal. Okay, come white on that Kay. one. Several different whips here. Adelant is going to pass us, which is fine. There's no cliffs coming up, so yeah, okay, we can keep going. It, keep it's going? actually okay. similar dense, similar organisms we've seen before, just in a higher density. Okay, no eDNA here. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, Roger that. Uh, we can get a ship move going again. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters, one eight zero, please? Thank you. Someone's wondering, does Hercules fly more or less level as it travels along? They're trying to judge the slope steepness uh, in the Yeah, view. more or less level. Right now, I am tilted down in the front, mm -hmm. three degrees, two degrees. 1.9, 2.2. I <laughs> uh, the camera's tilted down though. Camera's tilted down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. What kind of altitude do you normally try to maintain when we're uh, cruising along like this? Just high enough to not touch the corals. But as far as what the altitude number says, yeah, anywhere between zero meters and forty because of the cliff. Okay. So the altitude comes off TVL off the back of the vehicle, yeah. and is pretty not useful in. There it looks like a giant sea star behind this coral. I hope it's oh wow! Oh, I wow. hope it's massive. That is meaty. Look at that thing. Oh, <laughs> If I could whistle, wow. I'd do that whistle thing, yeah. but I can't. This looks like that thing. <laughs> on top. And of I think it's nomin on something. If we could get a it closer zoom on that, like could that. we get a nom it's zoom? It's what? Oh, I thought you, I thought he called it a name. Holy. <laughs> 
Yeah. There, are there two? There two of it's them. wrapped like... around something. Oh, it's wrapped. Oh, this is what scary. What is it eating? Maybe. <laughs> it's is it a sea pig? Oh, it's eating something. <gasps> oh. It has oh. put out its stomach and it's no. eating Oh, away. it's eating. Oh, that's. It's eating what? Sorry? A coral. It's put out its stomach over the coral. Uh. Oh, yeah. It's he one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah, we've seen nine start. Oh, it's eating a coral? Yeah, yeah. See yeah if you if there? you see if you look really close. Oh my oh. holy And is that like the skeleton of the coral poking through the yes. stomach on the top? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's all that. Oh, that, uh, that is Just a terrible way to go. Do you think it's eating that <laughs> coral hold fast right there? Or the coral that was in that hold fast right there? Oh, it could be. Oh I don't it's that looks impossible older. to tell. The stage. That is mm. wow, really cool. Something. Okay, I should move. Nice Thank you. zoom. Look at those tube feet, also. Uh -huh, yeah, is that yeah. Though? So yeah. Ryan, our scientist at lounge, is reminding <laughs> us that uh, this is similar <laughs> to the sea star uh, <laughs> that we saw on a previous dive that was also eating a paragorgid. That cool. had ten arms, right? Yeah, that had ten. I love I that a lounge has stuck. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it rolls. It really does. It, it a does, lounge. yeah. Yeah, he could be in the wet lab. We're just, I'm assuming <laughs> he's in the lounge. A lounge rolls better off the tongue than uh, Can a we get a partial on what this purple -y thing is in yeah. the background? Yeah, uh, not in control van, but still on the ship. I think these three are all the same. I think oh, no, I, there was like something behind the coral oh, that was on other the side? rock. Yeah, it was up behind the coral with Sorry. the lasers on it. Yeah, other side might. It might just be a hole in the rock. The dark patch, I think it was a hole. hole. Survey says hole. Okay. Survey says hole. Skip the hole zoom. That sea star was so big, I thought it was two sea stars. I thought it was two. I had so many arms, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely come into more animals, and our oxygen saturation has lowered significantly just in the last few moments. What just are we at? tidbits. Uh, concentration is at 67, saturation at another sea star nomen on a coral in the bottom of the frame. Do you want us to closer look at it? Sure. Okay. How? <laughs> I see it in bubble. Um, how about a bubble zoom? I can try. <coughs> Bubble zoom. Bubble zoom. I like how Spider Pig has become the bubble zoom. <laughs> <sound>. <laughs> bubble does not have the quality that we are used but to. It's got some real zoom. Yeah. You can zoom more if you want. I can zoom more. You can zoom forever with Bubble. Oh so gosh. if you're watching on Nautilus Live, oh, you want to be whoa, looking whoa. at channel Sorry. three. Sorry, everybody. Oh, mm. or oh gosh, botryoidal rock. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I All think right. that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, just come white. Or, yeah, you can come out on bubble. This is why I am not the <laughs> camera woman. <laughs> I think the, the view of the rocks is awesome. I, mean, the, I do too. The rocks oh, were very beautiful. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got a nice it zoom was like on a there. bonus zoom. <laughs> bonus zoom. It was. Shows you all to ask for a bubble zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so any reason we're going to waypoint five and not up the ridge? Oh, we yeah, want to be going the up the ridge. I don't know why waypoint five is off the ridge. That might just be an error of how it was sighted in the Error. Okay. Yeah, we should stick to the ridge, not way not be heading straight for waypoint five. Okay. Roger. Oh, Stephen, I'm going to tell you they call them pill bugs in Washington. Okay. Apparently. Cool. I knew it was somewhere. Or artillery bugs. Oh. Ooh. Kind of a sheet flow over there. Armadillo there. bugs. Artillery. <laughs> artillery. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like I said that better. I thought I've heard all armadillo bugs before. We used to call them that, like jokingly. Yeah, yeah, probably not seriously. Armadillo. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that. Waypoint five new. Yeah, nice. that's great. Just in time for the next watch. <laughs> Someone's wondering, are there any known fault lines in this area? I don't uh -huh. know. <laughs> uh, when we look at our multi-B bathymetry, we don't see evidence of fault lines where we are right now. Mm. You see Bobby Argus looking through the little access hole. <laughs> Bobby Argus. How's the uh, sunset looking, Stephen? Uh, we missed it. Aww. I mean, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really that low. That was harsh, man. All right, I'll, I'll put it up. Oh, actually, wait, wait. Oh, it's coming. Like I, I may have lied. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to peak beauty. beneath, beneath oh, the clouds. We can see a little bit. That's still pretty. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I mean, y'all missed it. I didn't miss it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> get a, sure, what the get heck? Get a zoom on it, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. You are redeeming yourself. That's funny. Thank Steve, you. zoom in on that sunset. <laughs> <laughs> sunset zoom. Let's see how the swell is. Right. Oh, Trevor, somebody said armadillium is a genus of isopod. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. S Ooh, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> I did not know there are armadillo in Louisiana, and I took my dog out for a hike and a swim in one of the bayous, and he started fighting with some animal in some really thorny brush. And suddenly, like, five or six armadillos come running out of the brush. And then th we probably saw 30 that day. It must have been, like, armadillo oh mating gosh. season. Mm. Were they coming to protect Armad their own from your dog? <laughs> 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 like, can they we get a the partial on this one right here? Yeah, the brown go for it, one. Steve. Sounds like armadillo get him. Like <laughs> oh, well Good played. One. <laughs> Love it. Which, how is that not like a B Can we movie? get a closer? <laughs> 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 Going more there, Steve? Oh. oh da, 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 da. Is this a plexarid? What are you? What are you? All right, thanks, Steve. Yeah, you can come wide. Can I get a reset, please? Okay. Also, yep. tuning in, saying Thank you. perhaps Swiftia. Yeah, Swiftia is a type of plexard. sky probably <laughs> if only we knew <laughs> oh let me put it up <laughs> so we're coming up on our next watch change we're about a third of the way through this dive uh, it'll be another 16 hours or so. A um, little bit less than that on bottom. I mean, that sky's okay. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Were you let down, Ashton? No, that's. I, I'm just let down that I'm not out there. <laughs> it's beautiful. Nice flying with y'all. Yeah. Hi. Absolutely. Bye, guys. Indeed. Bye. All right, we're starting to switch over. Thanks for all of your great questions. <laughs> See you all See in a few you. hours. Well, no, See eight, hours? eight hours. Yeah, eight hours. See you all in the middle of the night. <laughs>
or one nine five. Yeah. Let's get you to a more civilized reference number. These mud people. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, I'm so confused. If you're on comms, Jeff, can we get a little bit of a zoom? Not the most Come graceful back. swimmer here. That is a <laughs> funky swim. What's that directly in front of it? Looks like maybe a tube worm tube. Oh, that's like a tripod fish maybe. That may have been one of those tripod fish. We saw one earlier. Mm -hmm. This guy. Yeah. It looks right. Beautiful sunset. Oh, yeah. I'm so grateful that we get to watch the sunset from in here because my heart breaks a little bit when we can't see the sunset. I know. It was so nice. Thank you to our camera, our video engineers for putting that up for us. You come up just a little bit more down, I think. I don't know how zoomed we are on that. I feel like I'm there. Not really. We're here. All right. Hey, Dwight, are you on? Yes, I am. Okay. Just letting you know that, um, so it looks like the previous watch decided that um, they didn't want to go to waypoint five, so there's a new waypoint being made that we're um, making progress towards. Oh, thanks. Okay. I didn't see that. Um, so I'm leaving waypoint five as is, but we're not, looks like we're not going in that yeah. direction. Yeah, that's fine. I can see they're kind of mm. following the ridge, looking for more... Uh, they're probably on the hunt for some little bit better biology diversity. Okay. Well, I'm just going to coordinate ship moves in that direction. Yep, perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Bridge, this is Nev. Uh, 30 meters, 195, please. Zoom here as well. Awesome. There's an anemone to our right here we might want to take a look at too. Come all in on the anemone. Oh, looks actually like a coralomorph with those white tips. I don't know if we've seen one that size yet, this expedition. What's the difference between a awesome, coralomorph and a anemone? Uh, just groups that sort of evolve differently. Um, these are actually closely related to stony corals. 
I see. So there's a hypothesis, the naked coral hypothesis, that these are stony corals that lost their skeleton, although there's some evidence to refute that. All right, let's uh, come back wide. Thanks for the zoom. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sloppy jujitsu. <laughs> Just let go of the back. That was interesting. Wonder why it jumped off. The other one looks like it just fell off too. Oh yeah. So does one nine five take us straight to the new waypoint? Actually, no. Uh, but it does follow the ridge. Okay. Yeah. It looks a little bit steeper if we go a little bit further west. I don't know if we like that steeper. What is that? You want me to pause the ship? No, I'll come around. All right. Oh, wrong way. You don't know if we like that steeper, or are you suggesting we do like that steeper? I was wondering if. <laughs> I feel like if the back row we likes like, it. We yeah. like the steep. Likes it too. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah, if we go a little bit further west, we'll we should hit a little bit steeper. Yeah, because that could still get us up to that new waypoint kind of going up the steeper part. Yeah, sure. we can kind of yep, go. Yep, that totally works. West then north, I mean west then south. Sounds good. All right, I can stop the current ship move and go in that direction then. Bridge, this is Nev. These are, they're not sea pens, they are Bamboo corals? Yeah. Can we cancel so. the current move, please, and go 30 meters at bearing 250? Although they've been seeing some unbranched. That's correct. The uh, whips. Primnoids today, oh. too. So primnoids can have a whip like morphology just to make things more complicated. We love it. Level up, guys. We need to level up up in here. <laughs> oh, nice. Raj. Have we ever come across any old World War II vehicles? Walteria glass sponge with two crinoids on it. Whoa. Good job. Cool. Nice. Good nice. work, Mal and I. Yeah. Thank you. You're getting those down. There was a big World War II battle not too far from here, the Battle of Midway. Mm -hmm. Is Midway in the monument now? Yes. Cool. The island Midway. Yeah. Uh, some of the wrecks are too, I think. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Ballard found the Yorktown uh, aircraft carrier that was sunk in that battle um, back in 1998, maybe. I didn't know Dr. Ballard was that old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 1998. <laughs> Another Hanukkah coral. Yeah, candelabra. Let's get a quick zoom on it. So what do we have for samples so far? Two rocks for Val, and then one rock for Beth, and then one micro with that rock. Yep. Um, but could also be used awesome as a background. Thanks. Yep. No slurps? No. Oh, did we ever get that cup coral fishy. out of Fishy. Black we fishy. Did. Yeah. Oh, you did. Big was black it, fishy. Was it lodged in there? Um, I don't know. I oh. know when we took but it was the collection canister collected. off, it was there. That's a Beautiful. big fish. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, zoom a little bit. Man, I learned the idea of this, like, just the other day. What, what is this? Oh, my gosh. It is look so at I think dark. we saw one like this, but we couldn't find yeah, it. Yeah, we did. It's big. 
Look at its eyes. It's glowing. Yeah, that's so cool. Its fins look like feathers. Hmm. Been looking at a lot of feathers today. <laughs> Hello, little fishy. What's your name? This thing looks cool. What kind of fishy are you? <laughs> We're hunting over here through the pictures of all the fishes with their IDs next to it. Not sure about this one. It seems to have that kind of one fin on top. Mm -hmm. It's like Little a pointy spike. one too. Antenna. Not sure if that's how fish work, Katachi. <laughs> They're not satellite connected? <laughs> <laughs> I heard the new 5G is pretty crazy. Oh, this might be an anti-mora. Isn't that it's a USB LP thing? Can we uh, zoom in a little bit more? The purpose of the two green lasers is to tell us the size of the objects that we're looking at. And they are 10 centimeters away from each other. So those of you at home, try use the lasers and see how big you think this fish is. Uh, For those of you wondering, 10 centimeters is 3.94 inches. Thank you, Ryan. And for those of you who want permission to round that to four inches, go right ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're about precision here. Do I have to put ears? So this fish might be 3.93 inches wide or a little bit bigger. Yeah, around the head. Wow. All right, we're going to have to come wide and keep moving along with Atalanta here. Goodbye, fish. Bye-bye, fishy. Thanks, Jeff, for the zoom. We have a question, and if someone could help to answer it. Um, why don't we remove um, rubbish that we come across down here at the bottom of the ocean? I know there's a number of reasons, but... Good for a ship move. It's not really part of our mission. Mm. Um, we've done it before, but, you know, we're on a mission to collect samples and characterize the geology and the biology of the area, not retrieve man-made trash. Um, a lot of the stuff we see aren't necessarily hazardous to the life down What's here. That? That what was coral a, was that? That was a primnoid. Okay. And then we're seeing an umbelula sea pen there in the, in the sediment. I'm always tempted to say umbulella for some reason, but mix up the vowels. Wow. Wow, that's a big Walteria. Extra hairy, too, it seems. Can we get a quick zoom on this? We're going to have to keep coming along pretty quick, but. Awesome. Very Thank cool, you. thanks. Some hydroids at the top of it. Oh, yeah. But there's so much to look at over here. Look at this, the corkscrew kind of base keeps going on that one on the right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so cool. 
Definitely getting more dense. Over to Gorgia. Bubblegum coil with a sea star on it on the right. Whoa, this crinoid looks like it's floating. Yeah, on, like that stock. I wonder if oh, it's it looks like a heart. stalked water, uh, stalked crinoid, or if it's just on some kind of dead coral right, that's stacked. It looks like dead the coral to that. me, but... Jeff, can we uh, push in? Yeah. Hello, crinoid. Yeah, it looks like it's gripping onto that stalk. Wow. I feel like we don't often see that connection so well. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Goodbye, crinoid. Bye, crinoid. Okay. How's everyone feeling? Do we feel like we can introduce ourselves now? Well, what's sure. the question? The that's question is, what awesome. language would you really want to learn? Trash there. Oh my can. gosh, there's a can. That's a fresh can. That is a fresh can. It's not like, you know, 20 years old. That look brand new. Isn't there like this rule where if you see like debris in a certain area and you like notice the brand name, you can mention that to the brand name and then they sort of like compensate for that? Oh, yeah. never heard of that. Look at this shelf. Very cool. I think that's only in India, though. Hmm. Fun facts by Fiona. <laughs> Fun Fiona facts. Fun Fiona facts. I like that. Only coming in once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Get it while it's hot. <laughs> Perch, this is not. What are those? Are those it's like a metallogorgia to the left. Coral is coming up in the future. All right. Two zero meters at. Two five zero, please. They all look like they're floating. I know. What is that? Metallogorgia, I believe. Me Metallogorgia? Metallogorgia. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, let me double check in the guy. Oh, look, it looks What's like there's a little sea lily or an down yeah. on the okay. bottom left. It'll take us to the uh, steepest part of the gradient. Oh, look, there's some other corals over there. Yeah. Pretty large, probably a primnoid back there. Okay, we're gonna share our name, our position, the one in Hawaiian, if, if we got it. If not, no worries, we can, I'll have um, people say your Hawaiian position name. And then we're gonna share the language that we'd like to learn. I would go first. My name is Malanai Kane Kuahivi Nui. I am the Science Communication Fellow in Hawaiian. I am a Kumu Ike slash Mea Haimu Olelo. And I would like to learn how to speak German. I want to speak German. Interesting. Because my ancestors are German and a bunch of their files are in German. Oh, really? So I'd like to understand what their files are or like mm -hmm. all that. And their bibli bibliographies or yeah. their bios. I want to know. I want to know cool. more. Yeah. That's cool. I want to learn how to speak German, I think. Okay. Passing it on to. Ryan. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan Gasparo. Uh, I'm a graduate student at Temple University. I do my PhD. Um, on, I'm on the science team, uh, biology specifically. Um, my role on the ship in Hawaiian is an akeakamai or a scientist. 
And if I were to learn a language, I guess it would be the language I took some in college and forgot most of, <laughs> Italian, or mm. maybe more usefully Spanish. Thank you, Ryan. Let's we take a look at this sponge. Hi everyone, yeah. Dwight Coleman. I am a marine geologist from the University of Rhode Island, the expedition leader. And sadly, I haven't learned my Hawaiian uh, position name. What is it? Alaka'i. Alaka'i. There you go, yeah. <laughs> it's much longer than that, though. Well, I usually, so Alaka'i is leader, and then I usually add in the fact that you're also a scientist, and then I say right. you're a, you're a Kanaka Ali -ka. Epikema also. But so why, how about the language I would like to learn is Hawaiian? Ooh. <laughs> Let's uh, zoom in here. Thank you, Dwight. Looks like a, that's so interesting. I want to call it a wall terrier, but I don't think it's a wall terrier. No, I don't believe so. Very fuzzy. And it's got some of those Sorry. recruits around it. Recruits. <laughs> yep, a little, a little entourage. <laughs> It has a lot of them. I think that's what they're actually called, too. Mm -hmm. What are they called? Recruits. Recruits. Mushroom coral recruits. All right, that's a great look at that sponge. Thanks. Awesome. Man. It's really picked up since our watch started. Yep, happy to see it. Because King George and the car hunters <laughs> have arrived. <laughs> King George, this is Nev. Uh, please move the ship. Well, we are on King George. It's Three zero meters, bearing two five zero. Can you uh, do me a favor and check both arms there, Dan? Yeah, that one looks good. And that one looks extra good. <laughs> Not seeing all that. <laughs> Wait, why did you do that? <laughs> for this dive. <laughs> <laughs> how'd the how'd you get past Trevor Trevor? Not approval. <laughs> bad, bad advice for SPL. Wait what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fiona's a little busy right now, so um, how's about the front row? Are you guys ready to introduce yourselves? Yeah. Uh, I'll start. My name is Katachi. I'm on the right hand side. I'm the navigator. Um, my uh, Hawaiian position, or the Hawaiian term for my position is Ho'okele. And I would like to learn Spanish. I think it would be really useful. <laughs> Thank you, Kotachi. <laughs> All right, I am uh, can go next. My name is Paul. I'm one of the ROV operators, normally piloting uh, Argus, but currently piloting Hercules. Um, my sea cucumber. Yeah, that's what I was going for right here. Uh, the Hawaiian name for that would be Pailaka Mukulu'u Kia Awaya. And uh, I used to basically be fluent in Spanish, but haven't practiced it enough. So I'd like to relearn that. Um, my partner's family is Filipino, so I'd love to learn Tagalog. And now being in Hawaii, I would definitely like to improve upon the couple of Hawaiian words that I've learned. So, um, and I guess I'm Italian, so I, I'd <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just kind of a little bit of everything. 
We've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure when any of it's going to happen, but um, yeah, let's uh, zoom in on this. Thank you for sharing. Mm. Thanks. What is the Hawaiian name, Kotachi? Loli. <laughs> yeah, good job. Loli and Stitch. <laughs> Can we take a look at the coral up to the right after, too? No. Yeah, yeah. this one that's already <laughs> almost in frame. Yes. <laughs> get it. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I can come a little bit closer, too. Or I guess if we have more zoom, that's, that works. Yeah, no. Those are snake stars, right? Yep, and the core we're looking at is a plexorid called Swiftia. Plexorid Swiftia. Sorry. That's a great, thank you. Okay. These can be tricky. You can mistake them for Paragorgia pretty easily. Cool close-up, thank you. All right, Jeff. You know I like these shrimp that come right in front of our view. If we can get a quick zoom on this. Where the swimmerettes go. So interesting really is just suspended in air. It doesn't look like it's mm, nice making shot, much progress. There are so many, like, whiskers this guy has. I'm I know. Pretty, they're that, I know they're not called whiskers. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to call them right now. Wow, great Look at his shot. little legs oh. go. Just keep swimming. Just, just keep swimming. <laughs> just keep swimming. Swimming, swimming. Just keep swimming. I'm about it. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, that, that's good. Thank you. Come back Great more. zoom, guys. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. That was awesome. Bridge, this is Nev. Another three zero meters bearing two five zero, please. Fiona, are you ready to introduce yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Fiona. I'm from the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and I'm an ocean science intern here at Nautilus. And the language I would like to speak is probably my own, um, the language of the Chamorro people. And the reason why that is is because I think it's somewhat of a dying language not a lot of our my own generation and the generations after me know how to speak we kind of just like know the words and phrases if our sp our parents or grandparents were to speak to us um yeah but i'm glad that they're kind of incorporating it back into our schools and into our colleges so yeah that language i would definitely like to speak um katachi uh, Paul and I already went, so oh, it's going yeah. to you, Danger Dan. Hi everyone, I'm Dan, sitting in the Argus chair tonight. Uh, right now I'm trying to learn Python. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, you know, C plus or something. But yeah, that too, they kind of go together. Yeah. You, you learn C plus, you can speak all sorts of things. Sorry, before we move on, um... 
Fiona, her mm -hmm. Hawaiian oh. term is called the Homana or Hueao, and Dan is also a Pailaka Mokulu. Mahalo. Hi, Mano. Haumana. Haumana? Yeah. Okay. We have to look up your term in, in your language, too, maybe. What yeah. does it mean, Haumana? Haumana means student. Student. Do you guys have an online dictionary for your language? Yeah, yeah. let me check. All right. Look at that wall terrier. It's so fluffy. Oh, it's like Spanish. Estudiante. Estudiante. They are looking f extra fluffy tonight, aren't they? Mm -hmm. or, or it could be whiskers, but there's too much to be whiskers. Can we get a zoom on it? I wonder if there's like a, it seems the fluffier they are, the more associates they have. So maybe we should come the up with associates like a fluffiness like the fluff. index. Study this hypothesis. The humidity causing their hair to get frizzy. Our Just our jumped off again. Yeah. <laughs> Is it us? No, we're pretty far away. Yeah. I mean, huh. I wouldn't think it's us. Like, the hairs aren't even blowing in the wind. Right. In the current. In the wind. Are we able to come in any tighter on some of these branches? Yeah, yeah. I'll get oh. you a little bit closer, too. Bye. Oh, look, there's a sea star on the one behind it. Oh, yeah. It ate all the things up until that height. Mm. Okay. How is it able to hold on without, like, using any arms? Well, yeah, it's the, got the two, two feet, feet are very strong. Good, thank you. Awesome. Let's get a quick look at this sea star over here, too. Mm -hmm. If I were to okay, give, can we come in? There's already a theme for tonight: the jumping sea stars, Brito stars, or yeah, Brito stars. I think. So this stalk looks to be part of the same coral, but then the polyps at the top are all white, or is it a different? Um, sorry. Oh. I wonder. Maybe it's because they're all retracted. So what the color we're seeing is mostly from the tentacles being out. They oh, know. that makes sense, yeah. Got it. Everyone's like, hide. There's a sea star yeah, coming. Come back wide. <laughs> That's got to be terrifying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm still pretty far. I can't move. Bridge, this is Nev. Uh, three zero meters bearing, uh, three zero meters bearing two, uh, two four zero. All right, we can come back in on it. It is the night of flying animals. Yeah, you can really see it in that top groove there, it holding on. Yeah. It is pretty amazing they do it with their arms out like that. Is that the underside of that organism awesome. or the top Thanks, side? So they don't really have a top or bottom. They have what's called like an oral surface and an ab oral surface, and their mouth is on the that side. So that's the that's the mouth side. Yeah. Okay, that makes surface. sense. 
which I guess is the bottom, really. Right. It's more just jargony. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Do you mind um, sharing yours? I could. You could have shared it, and I may not have heard. Sorry if I missed it. No, I, I hadn't said anything. So I was busy pushing buttons. I'm Jeff, the video guy. Uh, kind of like Ryan, I had a couple few years of Italian, and I would love to go back and perfect that. I'd actually like to just move to Italy and, <laughs> and you know, learn it in country. Um, and, but like you, German, you know, that's my family history is all German, so I got in trouble because I wanted to name our kid Wolfgang, so <laughs> after a great, great grandfather or something. And Jeff is a Kanaka Pai Vikio, Makolo Hawaii. Your turn, Ipo. Aloha, my kako. My name is Ho Ipo, and I am from Waimea on the big island of Hawaii. And if I were to learn a language, oh, I'd learn fish. German or Portuguese because mm, I have. Maybe not. I have ancestry in those places also. Thank you for sharing, Ipo. You are the Kanaka Hawaii. I am the Kanaka Hawaii. Is this one of those tripod fishes? Not positive. Fish in your day. <laughs> <laughs> Like some type of macro urid, maybe. It has two fins yeah. on one side. Two sets of four one. fins. And, and it's so interesting how this, the fins kind of have those spikes that go way past the top and side. Yeah. All right, let's come wide, yep. Roger. Copy that. What kind of corals are these again, Ryan? Um, I think we're seeing a few the different ones. The ones we see, Mark, huh? We're seeing a few different ones. Um, like the triple branching ones. So those are, um, forgetting the name. I believe they're bamboo corals, though. Oh. Let's see, I can refine the ID. How strong is the digestive power of a sea star? Um, this person said, if I held it in my hand, would it try to eat my hand? No, definitely not. But if your hand was a small coral polyp, then it would definitely try and eat your hand. Mm -hmm. Fishy. I'm enjoying the seascape here. Or yeah. would it be landscape? Because it's like, you know, hmm. questionable. That's a So Fiona, we've also been seeing a bunch of primnoids, uh, Norella, in the genus Norella, that look like that sort of trident yeah. rancher we've been seeing. So not too sure, unless you get a zoom on one where they're 
So let's take a look at its skeleton. You situated for another ship move? Not right now. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a... Right. Can we take a partial zoom on this coral here? Uh, not right. No. They're trying okay. to readjust the tether. Oh, okay. Okay. No problem. Did you see that other falling sea star? Yeah, brittle stars aren't have a loose grip tonight. What do you... Oh. While the pilots are um, getting the vehicles back into position, do you mind, Ryan, um, talking to us about this dive that we're on and um, where we're at, back. how deep? And Copy. Sure. So we are on our second dive on King George Seamount right now, uh, previously on a southern portion of uh, the Seamount and now on a, a little bit... Um, more northerly part, and that goes in our transect today will extend a little bit shallower as well. Um, and we are currently at a depth of 1,840 meters. Um, and we are here to characterize uh, some of the geology and biology of this seamount. So uh, we're really interested in collecting some rocks to figure out the age of this seamount in relation to the other ones around it in this uh, sort of fork of a seamount chain called the Liliokalani Ridge. Um, also looking at the microbial diversity and productivity of uh, the microbe communities on some of the crusts that are encrusting on some of the rocks. So we had a negative half wrap, so characterizing. know that there's a wrap in it. So maybe we want to fly with a positive half wrap. Characterizing some of the biological diversity of these seamounts because this is um, you want to spin or you want the me first to spin? time they've been imaged with an ROV after having previously okay. been mapped in detail for the first time last year in November. Oh, sorry, I was going 
the other way. Thank you, Ryan. You want me to go counterclockwise? Hey, Paul. Yeah? Can you mention what's happening? Um, yeah, we're just, um, we have a flexible tether between the two systems, and if it gets twisted, then things get less happy. So we're just trying to figure out which way it's twisting. And okay. We're trying to take a turn out of the tether there. It's Hawkwind. It's doing the 1985 telephone cord thing. Oh, <laughs> fun. Not, not, not fun at all, actually. No, no fun. But, yeah. Sorry, I think I drifted a little bit back in the current. Not too far. Um, do you want to try just resetting the uh, auto head? I had had that issue happen. Would it be helpful to move the ship backwards? No. You know what actually fixed it last time, Dan? Was I um, did a manual like lateral turn. So if you took off the auto heading, or do you mind if I try? See if it works now. Little fishy. Bye bye. All right, you want me to do a uh, counterclockwise turn? Got it. This negative half a wrap is how we were flying before. Um, I'm going to be moving the ship uh, south uh, west. Do you need to come forward before I do that? Um, no, I'll start coming forward now. Okay. Bridge, this is Nev. Please move the ship 20 meters at bearing 240.
na lang eh. Yeah, two four zero. Okay. Hmm. I remember Trevor saying he wanted to come up like with a turn to take it out. Is that a little sea anemone? Yeah, it is. Happy Orthodox Easter. No, no, we came out how we started, negative half a wrap. Um, when we came out, it was at zero tether wraps. So. Oh, we're also, your, your uh, heading is twisting? No. Was, uh, I think we did a half turn clockwise. Because mm -mm. it only came halfway. So we're back where we started. It twisted. When it twisted, it was at negative half a wrap, and that's where we're back at now. When it came out, we were at zero. Good for another ship move? Yeah. Bridge, this is Nev. Two zero meters, bearing two six zero, please. Yeah. Because we were starting to do the spin, but then Atalanta stopped doing its thrusters. We lost sight of it. Back row, I know we're talking a lot about the tether, but um, we're in an okay spot right now. So if there's anything that you see while we fly, let me know. Great, thanks. Is there any protocol when um, we may come across uh, human remains? That's a pretty heavy subject. Yeah. I feel like that only happens when we come across um, shipwrecks or yeah. wrecks. Yeah, that's true. And we would probably not broadcast it live, that's for sure, and address the situation as it arises.
for the whale shark. Um, who was who was on deck for the whale shark? I was. I was. I think we all were because it was right before our watch, right? It was. Yeah. I was in bed, and then I grabbed myself a plate of breakfast, and then there everyone was like, "There's a whale shark! There's a whale shark!" So I went and took my plate and um, sat right at the railing to enjoy the whale shark that came by. Ashton said it so casually to me that I thought she was joking completely. <laughs> so I just kind of like waltzed brushed, out there. Brushed it off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was like, yeah. no, there's nothing out here. How many footballs do we have on the on the tether? Two and one weight. Two footballs and one weight. When doing these explorations in the ocean on the ocean floor. Are they usually vast and empty, or are they, um, are, are there regions, are there regions that are filled, or? I think it varies. That's this one right here. Oh yeah, um, yeah, it totally varies seamount to seamount. We've been seeing quite different community structures and densities depending on where we go, what depths we're at. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the topography too. A, a very steep region um, tends to have more more density and perhaps diversity than somewhere a little bit flat and sedimented like this. Um, although we are on a pretty steep slope now. But uh, for example, we've seen some really sort of sheer rock faces that were totally covered with life. I feel like um I haven't actually gone to look myself, but there might be some highlights of the past dives throughout this expedition. I remember um, one of the unnamed seamounts. I have it in my notes somewhere over here. There's, there's just life all over the place. There were corals, there were um, sponges, sea anemones, sea stars, and um, the colors were just amazing. On another, on another um, one of our dives too, there was some these cliff faces um, um, that were just covered in these organisms called zoanthids and they, there were yellow ones and like these white gray grayish looking ones yeah those are the corallomorphs corallomorphs and it was just really cool because then like I, I i liken it to like s grass just growing mm -hmm. on rock so it's just like covered like grass and then there are these as if like there are these little roses of of sponges that popped up here and there, and that was really, really pretty too. Now I want to go look. I'm going to go look on the website and see if they're highlighted anywhere. <clears throat> and then I can explain to our viewers where they might be able to find these highlights. Can we take a look at this uh, anemone down here? Yeah. All right, can we get a zoom here, Jeff? Oh, interesting. It looks like a small start of a sea pen, maybe. Wow. Interesting. I wonder if that's like a Umbalula mm. recruit. Sort of looks like it. Look at all its hairs. Yeah. That's a great shot. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, so if you guys go to um, nautiluslive.org and then I've pushed on the gallery, 
um, link, and then there you will see towards the bottom this place called More Recent Additions, and you can see um, our headless chicken video that we actually saw on our watch, so that that was really exciting and kind of crazy to see, because I remember Dwight was saying, I want to see a sea cucumber swim. And you know, minutes later, here comes this swimming sea cucumber, the headless chicken. And then um, we have this, another photo album that just went up. It's called A, a Bouquet of Deep Sea Lilies and Feather Stars. Um, Crinoids of Papaha no Mokua Kea. And I'm actually so um, taken by the crinoids. They're so pretty. Yeah, they really are. And those of us, Ipo and I, enjoy the ferns. The ferns of the ocean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another video there, sea dandelion, and other superb creations, uh, creatures um, of the Central Pacific. We have the chana cops on there, the, the yawning chana cops. And then um, another video with, I think, let me move that. Colorful coral gardens and sponges on solid A seamount. Yeah, and I believe that's where we saw some of those steep faces. Yeah, so. Some really dense octocoral gardens there that were really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're seeing like kind of 50 50 with the, um, the life that we're seeing on the seamounts that we've been diving. Oh, fishy. Hello, fishy. So we have five highlights up already from this particular uh, expedition. And then... All right, let's get a zoom, Jeff. Is that a macro your day? Ooh, lighting. might be a Coryphenoides, which is a macrourid. So nice job. Which is a is a so it is a type of macroyuridae. Cory Cory can you point to the word that I'm gonna try and say right now? Coryphenoides. Is I'm not that positive that's correct though. <laughs> it two might zero be meters a bearing two five zero. Coryphenoides. Alright, that's great. Mm, the snout looks, looks a little different to me. I don't know. What's the last ship move, Kutachi? Two zero meters bearing two five zero. Two five zero, yeah. We're about 400 meters away from uh, new waypoint five. Okay. I'm just trying to bring us closer to the steeper, steeper yeah. gradient. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully we'll see some more life. Just want to add a comment to the previous question. I think uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but most of the ocean seafloor is like devoid of life. It's, it's it's like there's a lot of life because there's a huge amount of surface or volume, but um, a lot of it is like doesn't have a whole lot. Right. It's uh like aggregated at p interesting places like sea mounds, hydrothermal vents. Yeah, especially not big things. So you'll you'll definitely find sediment in fauna and things. Yeah, microscopic uh, things. Yeah, okay. but uh, you're not uh, during on the large expanses of like muddy seafloor, you're not likely to find uh, much like big corals and sponges like we're seeing, for example. Thank you. What's uh, Herc's speed right now, roughly? Like right now over ground, two point, point two. Point yeah. two? 
knots or meters per second. I think you're muted, Dan. Sorry. Uh, point three is about 10 meters a minute. Point three, yeah. Thus the 60 second zooms. Okay, that, yeah, we use point two. Okay. Just seemed like we were going kind of slow. <laughs> uh, the ship's, the ship's doing point two now. We can bump it up if you want. Well, I mean, if we're just doing 20 Sorry. meter steps, uh, what is that really steps, dark thing um, over there? Is that, does that keep the flow Richie. going? You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, has been. Katachi's been calling in the move calling before it out. the other one ends. Gotcha, yeah. And I'm pretty but much just staying out in front. So we we can bump it to pause. point three because, uh, yeah, it's, you get another three meters a minute, right? Point two is like six meters a minute. Yep. Point three is like nine meters Yeah, I mean, we still want to be able to stop and look at things, obviously, but, um, right. you know, I, I'm afraid it's yeah. going to get much more dense and we're going to be going really slow later in the dive because we're going to be looking at so much. All so right. where it's pretty sparse, I wouldn't mind covering a little ground more more quickly. Copy that. Point three. Yeah. Can you come down just like two meters, Dan? I just want to get a little closer to this for the ground back row. We're looking at a, an urchin here. 